Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Talk Shit Radio. Good morning. I can hear you guys flapping away in the background on my headphones. Get out. Get out. (laughs) Um, It's not a house. It's a studio during eight normal business hours. (laughs) During normal business hours. You're like eight to... It's not a garage anymore. It's the studio. He's like eight to... Well, because we go 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Eight to... I was like, no, son of a, what the, <laughs> what do I say what is, now? What is our normal business hours? Yeah, what are our normal business? What is normal anyway? What is normal? <laughs> Certainly not me. Today. Angie's going to college today. Oh, you going to college? St. Leo. Oh, they grow up so quick. Great city. It's unbelievable, right? Time flies. You, you just, carry, just fucking turned 14. Carry concealed weapon over there? Oh, well, that's right. You haven't even turned 14 I ha- yet. Hasn't, I, hasn't, I, hasn't, I yet. hasn't yet. I hasn't turned 14 yet. Yeah. You fit right down here in one of these schools, boy. I tell you, no wonder you got your one of them that are southern out there educations. <laughs> I hasn't. You hasn't done that yet. I haven't done that yet. If I like you, it's really bad. I have to understand it. Oh, well, yeah. And you'll never be able to return. And probably never be able to go on any school trips ever again, so don't fuck up or your daddy will kill you. <laughs> Just broadcast that in front of thousands and thousands of people. I'll kill you if you fuck up. <laughs> if Angie turns up missing, <laughs> you know I killed her. It was her father. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, I can get myself in trouble. I don't need any help from need you, you, buddy. I don't need you to help yeah, me. Out. I don't need you to help me dig this hole, pal. I can <laughs> dig these kind of holes real good and fucking fast. <laughs> Now, if I ask you to help me fill it in, that's a different story. You might want to question that one. Here's a wing. <laughs> Here's a leg. <laughs> well, I would prefer you go straight for the hearts and lungs. Uh, my mom's <laughs> going to cook us dinner after. <coughs> <coughs> Fucking <coughs> Tuesday. <coughs> oh, my God. Jesus. Yes, it's <laughs> Tuesday, February 17, 2015. Whoa, that was a big one. How you feeling today? I actually a lot better. You feel a lot better? <laughs> Kind of. Good. You couldn't tell by listening to me choking right now. No, that's for other reasons. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. One day until hump day. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, tomorrow's hump day, huh? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow is hump day. I got to fix my mic a little bit. Fix your mic. (coughs) We got a lot of shit going on today in the news, huh? Yeah, I saw a couple of things up in the news. Quite a bit, quite a bit. I know uh, we are one day closer to Joe Exotic, that's for sure. Yes, we are. I was playing um, Joe Exotic all morning, and um, well, not all morning, but I was playing a lot of his music most of the morning, and just getting into it. I found the one song that I love. I love the one song. Here, Kitty Kitty? Well, that's, okay, so I love two songs. Here, Kitty Kitty. <laughs> Here, Kitty Kitty. <laughs> and I saw a title. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe three songs. <laughs> Maybe three songs. Maybe no, all of them are great. All right, great. so maybe I like them all. Maybe all I like them all. I do. I do. All of them are great. <laughs> what are you guys flapping in the background? Yeah, right. All right, you well, take your birthday there. out there and talk about it later. We're on the air, please. Beat it. Mm-hmm. Beat it. We'll talk about your birthday. Beat Don't it. worry. No one wants to be me now. <laughs> hey, Michael, you over there? You okay over there? Michael Jackson. Michael, what are you doing over there? there? Shut up. I told you he wasn't dead. I told you he was not I told you dead. He wasn't dead. Michael Jackson didn't know it was not fall dead. off. No. No, yeah, he burned man. his hair off and changed his appearance. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, and I'm turning a little bit darker than what he did uh, to and his skin. You, yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> See, I have a little more color in my face, don't I, Mish? <coughs> no comment. No comment. <laughs> it's a white, whitish kind of fine pearl color. Fine. Uh, I think you yeah, wipe it off a little, too. That white, wipe nothing. Pearlish. Oh, what did you do? What did you do on the way over here? Did you find some bum and blow him on the way over? No, I didn't do nothing <laughs> of the sorts. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Is it hot in here or is it me? It must be you. <coughs> it's because you're sitting over there coughing. You're, you're temperature rising. Oh, my God. <coughs> Jeez, you're really dying today. You need a little water. I don't know what the hell's going on. Ah, one of them mornings for me. You know what it is? I'm getting over the cold. My sinuses are draining. Ah, so a lot of fluids coming up? Oh, my God, dude. I took my medication this morning. <laughs> it's laid out there in a pile of puke. <laughs> Your medication? Yeah, it's outside. Yeah, yeah it's it, outside on the floor. On the floor, in, in the, the pile floor. of puke. Yeah. Oh, oh, let it freaking absorb into the ground. It's all right. Yeah, it's good exactly. for the, It's good for the, good for the water good table. For the plants. Yeah, it's good for plants. Yeah. I'll have uh, um, disease-free plants. 
<laughs> disease free plants. Yeah, they, they got antibiotics on them now. Do you remember that storage unit yesterday that uh, was uh, on fire in Pasco County? Yes, I know. Well, they had found the uh, 18-year-old who was, um, um, I guess, cause Mm -hmm. of the fire. Um, Really? He is under arrest with connection of the fire that heavily damaged uh, extra extra space storage business early Monday. Clyde Turner IV was arrested about 5 p.m. yesterday. Um, so they got him pretty quickly. Um, he was charged with second degree arson and burglary of commercial structure on US 19 Gulf Trace Boulevard. Nice. Um, the, the fire damaged about 40 units at the business, over $200,000 worth of damage. That's probably just. Um, well, that's probably just the building structure. The building, I mean, not, yeah, that the not the personal. Bl- yeah, yeah, not the personal belongings that were in the wow. unit, but. It's a good thing that they caught this guy. Yes, yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So. This is going to be uh, it's going to be interesting to see you know what the charges end up being mm. on this guy. It'll probably it's, be the same. Well, I mean, for you know, as far as the degree of arson. Oh yeah. Um, I'm curious to see what the motives were. That's for sure. Firefighters are calling Turner a Spider-Man like arson. Really? Yeah. Because he ran across the roofs and scaled other buildings. No shit. I bet you they fucking took his shit from him. So he said, well, if I can't have it. Nobody can nobody have anything? Can have it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, it's a logical. I can see that. Yeah, I could see that happening. Definitely. Very oh, we're going to auction off my shit? Oh, right. are you? Okay. All right. I see how it is. Okay. I'm going to put a match to your building. Yep. Exactly. I see that happening very simply. How do I have a Facebook message already? Oh, because you sent me one. Yeah, because <laughs> I sent you one. Duh. Duh. And this is about... This is that cool thing. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get the page all shared up no, there. Yeah, <coughs> I see. I didn't, even get, I didn't even get to that. But um, the search does continue for a Tampa, Florida uh, woman who vanished in Ebor City. Uh oh, I think Carol Baskin found her. No. Yep, kitties were hungry. No, girls, girls uh, aren't her. Uh, Oh, that's her right. forte. Right, that's right. It's only rich, rich men, white men. Right. Yes. yes. Um, Tampa, Florida. Say, uh, Tampa police are continuing I know why. the search. For... I know why she don't like Joe. Why? Because Joe don't like women. Oh, that's why. It makes it perfectly sense now. If Joe liked women, he would become a target for her. So, because you know, just like she did to the last one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Husband but... burgers. <laughs> yeah, did you see the post uh, on the love picture? It. I yeah. love it. I mean, I'm going to post it again today. Yeah, I'm going to post it again today. Yep. That was a good it. picture. It was sure. great. <laughs> Definitely funny fucking shit. Um, but in Tampa, mm-hmm. the search does continue for a woman who disappeared early Thursday from Ebor City. 33-year-old uh-huh. April Foster's family reported her missing on Friday. Tampa Police Department says uh, that while... There is no evidence of foul play. Detectives are concerned for for her safety, which is understandable. She was leaving a uh, um, a bar, I think, uh, outside of Tampa. Do you remember what I told you about Ebor City? Uh, no. The place is no joke, dude. Yeah. The guns start flying. You fucking run. The minute you hear um, was that Ebor City that you were talking yes, about? Yes. The minute you hear a fight, you go the opposite direction because then the guns come out. Um, I, I'm I'm afraid for this woman over here. She's, she's very gone, dude. she's very attractive. She's and, gone. Oh man, I, I feel so bad. I, I hope she turns will up. give it probably three or four days, and they'll find her body somewhere. Mm. <laughs> I just been here long enough to know how it goes, bro. I'm telling you, I hate to be the one to be the bearer of bad news. I hate to say shit like that. I really hope that they find her alive yeah, and well. She's fucking beautiful. Absolutely, but with, with the history of the way things go in Ebor City, a beautiful girl like that missing. Yeah, this th- it th- doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. Nope. Um, she was uh, meeting friends at the Bad Monkey in Ebor City after work on Wednesday night. Uh, she left the bar around 12 a.m. Thursday morning um, with a man she met at the bar. There you go. There's your first fucking mistake right Does there. Does not look good. There's your first mistake. Um, the body will now be found somewhere in South Florida. They, they <laughs> <laughs> If they ever find the body, because he's probably on his way to the Everglades. Floating in the Everglades. No, yeah. You put anything in the Everglades, dude, if it's got any sort of nutritional value to anything oh, it's gonna else, be eaten it's up. gone. Yeah, yeah it's gone. Um, they went next door to the Double Decker uh, to sing karaoke. The two left the bar together a short time after, um, and they returned. 
Then they returned. Oh, then they returned back to the bar when they left the bar a second time at around 2:20 a.m. Uh, April, she headed east by herself with the man walked and the man walked west down Seventh Avenue. Well, doesn't say that he got into a car, didn't follow her anywhere. All right. Well, Seventh Avenue in Ybor City. All right. First of all, is the main strip down there. Mm-hmm. All them side roads, mm-hmm. alleyways. Oh, bad news. Bad news. Just telling you, the whole area is bad news. Well, I hope they find her. I do. I'm, you know, I'm not saying they're not going to. I'm not saying that they're going to either. It's just, you know, uh, I, it's not likely. It's highly unlikely. Highly it's unlikely. Unfortunate. That, 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 it's that very unfortunate. She'll be found alive. Yes, it's very yeah, unfortunate. That's very, that's very sad. It sucks, dude. It sucks. I mean, she's been gone, what, five days? <laughs> Is it five days already? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Friday, look, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday. Unless five she's days. having mad sex in a hotel room from somewhere. I mean, you know, she's got to see this all over the fucking news. She'll be calling up saying, no, 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 just having sex, the greatest sex of my life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've I mean, been out of contact for a couple of days, yeah, but I'm all right. Getting the high hard one like I never got it before. <laughs> She's getting the high hard the one. The high hard one. You never heard of it? Yeah, I've heard of that one. Yeah. yeah um, that's, that's nasty. Huh? That's nasty. That's nasty, he says. So um, CNN, ISIS growing at warp speed. Okay, so take a fucking photon to- torpedo and blow them out of the sky. Done deal. I'll be able to stop that real quick. Yeah, no, know. I'll push up a button. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. We need to go in very aggressively and just start dropping napalm. Fuck it. Do you just know how many the whole countries. How many? How many innocent lives will be in danger at that point? You really can't do that. Oops. Oops. We might as well just push a button and just fucking nuke the whole entire country. No, you don't want nobody else to push any buttons. Uh, I don't know, dude. I, I think uh, there's only one way to fucking solve the problem, and what? that's to go over there and just mass genocide. <laughs> Simple. We don't have the right to do that. That's what it is. We don't have the right to go in there and, they and have, mass genocide. But they have them. the rights to do what they're doing to the world. They don't have the rights to do that. They're just doing so, it. So the rest of the world should come against ISIS. What do you think? Uh, and I, I, believe, mass I, I believe that. Yes, I believe yeah. that. But now, see... Who's gonna be pissed off when we That's bomb? That's not gonna work. When we bomb uh, ISIS? Oh, what? what? Stop it! Not gonna work. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Not gonna work. Damn it! I like my little stand. I hear that too much. I don't hear it. Put your coffee down. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh yeah. I hear it in the microphone. Every little thing. I can see it on the meter. Do you? Nah. Not gonna work. Oh yeah, you do see it on the meter. Do it again. Yeah. Damn, man, that's yeah. loud. Yeah. You're getting your old mic stand God back, buddy. Damn it! <laughs> I like this little mic stand. This is cool. <clears throat> then don't keep your elbows off the table. You got to sit like this. Then look. Yeah, and don't put the cup on the table. Yeah, <laughs> don't put the cup anywhere near the table. <clears throat> but <clears throat> if we attack ISIS, who's going to come and help them? Uh, Figure who, who's who's going to come and help ISIS. Who would who, want to? Who, that's what I'm saying. Who would want to? Who, who, who would we be afraid of to attack us back if we bombed friggin' ISIS, like, completely, like, nuke them? Um, whoever comes to help them, they get the one right behind them. Yeah, but who is that? It doesn't matter. Whoever goes to help ISIS should get the next nuke sent right at them. Yeah, and then what, a chain reaction going on? Nobody's going to go help them, dude. They're terrorizing the world. That's, That's the thing. It's not going to help, bro. So then who cares? The mic's gone. No, the your little mic stand is gone. Shit. Yeah. God little, damn it. Your little mic stand is gone. I like my little <sighs> mic stand. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. I don't know. I, um, I, I've um, i said it before. I'll say it again. It's one of the reasons why I'll never be a person in power with that kind of power. Because I'm a fucking warmonger, dude. I'll send everything and everybody we got over there. Ah, no problem. Just hit the button. Watch this. You go, we got a problem with ISIS. Here comes 100,000 troops. We'll be like, deploy. Deploy. Enough said. Deploy. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. Yes. My, my re- command and conquer red alert. Oh. <laughs> Look, I was good at that game. I could, I could win a motherfucking war, bro. I know how to. Just build massive, massive armies. When I was younger, and I used send to them in in overwhelming forces. I used to be good at Risk, the, the game Risk. The game Risk. That's what got me started in With the war games. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Ever since then, um, you just send in an overwhelming number of forces and overpower everyone and everything. Commit mass genocide. It's over. Yeah, but you can't do that. Yes, you can. You kill everybody but the children. 
Oh, fuck that. The children are getting trained also. I'd take them let out him, also. There's let no them reason see why a every nine-year-old bit, should be... Listen, this sounds really bad, okay, the way I'm saying it. But you kill everyone but the children and let the children watch. You pick up a gun and come after America. When you get older, you suffer the same fate. Now we will let you and the rest of your generation live. They're training children to do what they're doing as terrorists. Huh? Oh, look who it is. Um, good morning, September. Yes, we are doing the show. Why? Would you like to call? Yes. Would, would, you, would you like to? I haven't even got up yet. September. I don't even know if I have the chat up or anything. I don't like have that. anything up. Yeah. There's no one chatting. Right? No, there's no one in the chat. I don't know, bro. That's just me. I just feel, you know. I, what am I doing? Shut up, Sherry. I'm trying to... Shut up, Sherry. Shut up, Sherry. You're <laughs> annoying. Uh, let's see. But... Um. Wow! Look at that. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> hmm. Um, I don't know, brother. That, like I said, you know, I'm gonna get a lot of uh, a lot of comments and complaints, and I'm sure people are sitting there oh, going, "Did he just say that?" No, fuck that. I I understand that the children out there, from what I hear, they're being trained to be assassins, to be terrorists as well. They have schools for them. Yeah, that's why you wipe all of that shit out. Leave the children to see it and say this no, is the fate. No, because, because then the children will come back with but, revenge. But this is the fate that you will suffer if in 10 years, if in 5 years, if in 10 minutes you decide to pick up a weapon against anyone, ally or not, mm -hmm. this is the fate you will suffer. And just let them gander over at the big pile of dead bodies burning away over there in the distance. <laughs> So at that point, they start their own friggin' uh, uh, group and come back at us with vengeance. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Round two. Round two. When? 20 years later when they multiply it again? When they're as big as ISIS? We won't let it happen at that point. You know what I'm saying? At that point, honestly, you know, you want to talk FEMA camps and, and all that shit? There you go. Put up walls around those countries and just say, fuck it, dude. I mean, the country's already... How long has ISIS been around for? ISIS has only been around for about a year now. I know. No, they've probably been around longer than we know. Because I remember there used to be Isil. Yeah. Isil. Isil, Isil. Isil, is, whatever is, the hell this, it was called. Is that. Yeah. yeah. They've only been around for so long. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're fucking, they're, they're going crazy over there. What I can't stand is them executing innocent people who were over there being doctors, journalists, you know, um, I, I don't want to say uh, missionaries because they're not missionaries yeah, over there. no. Um, I'll tell you one thing, though. But executing um, people, I really don't like that. Um, <laughs> if if uh, if I was over there as a journalist, huh? the only I, I wouldn't only I would carry more than just a camera. I would definitely carry a gun. That won't matter when you got freaking twenty people around you or an ISIS with AK forty sevens. It it would matter. It would matter. Why, you'd be able to take at least one or two of them out? No, I would shoot myself in the head before they had a chance to torture me. Hmm. You know what I mean? I don't want to Just take a cyanide pill with you if you're going to Yeah, true enough. Stuff. Yeah, I don't want to freaking... I'm not worried about a firearm. Yeah. I'm worried about... If, I, if I'm worried about killing myself instead of them taking me hostage so then they could torture me and then, you know, execute me yeah, in front I'm of a live camera. Me and, yeah, live no. studio audience. No. 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 I wouldn't... Uh, nah. Wouldn't let them manipulate me like that. You know what I'm saying? Definitely wouldn't. So, um, where are we at? Where, what else we got? I was looking at a uh, a story on CNN about the uh, the, the Mars uh, exploration. Mm -hmm. uh, Mars One, a group that plans to send humans on a one way trip to Mars, has announced its final hundred candidates. They picked from at least two hundred thousand applications, and will go far uh, into further testing later this year. Um, which they expect uh, to include team building exercises and later isolation. Nice. Um, eventually, 24 will be selected to make up six groups of four, uh, which Mars One says it'll hope to launch to the Red Planet uh, in 2024 with the aim of starting a colony there. Um, I'm looking at pictures. I'm actually going to post this. And the... The computerized, you know, versions of what they have in mind. Mm -hmm. It looks like like trailers on Mars that they will. <laughs> Those right there. Yes, these nice. right here. Um, 
That's is, what the future of colonization looks like? Uh, yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I really, I really don't think that they're able... So this is a concept. This is a concept. I don't think they're able to go out, you know, outside of these these pods, these these little trailers. Because of the atmosphere, yeah, right? <laughs> yes, because of the atmosphere. Um, but if you look at it like this, you're never, co never coming back to Earth. Who cares? Earth Who sucks. Cares? Who cares? Earth sucks. <laughs> God, well, what if you die in the trip there? It's a 10-year trip, so, yeah. It's wicked, bro. Could you imagine? What the hell is that? What the hell is what? This one. This guy? Claire Whedon? Yeah, she's what? one of the candidates. Oh, she's going to, to Mars. She's going to Mars. She's one of the candidates. She's got a hole in her lip. She, she's, yeah, she's she got a piercing. They let piercings go to space? They got to take them out. <laughs> they let piercings up in space? Yeah, they got to take them out, though. You can leave with a hole in your lip. I don't know. Once you get a leak? Wouldn't you get a leak? I don't know, but... um. It, these two that I see on this article, they're both from London, from England. Mm. Uh, one's from Kent and one's from London. Gotcha, gotcha. Never what, September? You just commented never. What are you commenting? Never, never go to Mars. You'd never go to Mars? Well, you'd I never take out your piercings to go to Mars. Oh. Oh. How many piercings do you have? <laughs> I, That's what I want to see. Uh, I, I only got five. <laughs> you? Yeah. Do you wear them all? Um... I have no. I don't wear any of them anymore. I except have one. I have five as well. Two, yeah. Four one, two, no, four, three. Four in one ear, one in the other. That's the end of it. Four in one ear. Mm hmm. Four in one ear. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Both, she says. <laughs> Both. Yeah. Both. She's not going to Mars, and she's not taking a piercing to go to down. Mars. <laughs> she's adamant about that. She says, if I want to go to Mars, I'm not taking my fucking piercings out, son of a bitch. <laughs> but pay me extra. <laughs> you got to pay me extra. You, gotta, you don't have to get paid anything. You're working for NASA at that point. They're providing everything. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot you didn't get paid. It's charity. You, you, you can't send a check from Mars back home. Yeah, well. <laughs> Does it take three to five days to clear? Yeah. Would no, that, be, takes... that would be considered one hell of an electronic transfer, wouldn't it? Oh, man, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Imagine walking up to an ATM on Mars, trying to withdraw money from Earth. Imagine there was an ATM on Mars. You'd have to go, like, a month prior to get your money. What would you buy? <laughs> <laughs> Martian hookers? I don't know. Martian but hookers? Eventually, we will have three boobed hookers up there. You can believe that. It'll be just like Total Recall. You ever seen um, Paul? Paul, Paul, the alien, the movie Alien with no. uh, Seth Rogen. He was he was the alien no. trying to get back to his. Uh, forget it. Well, forget then, it. she says. No, I didn't see it. No, it was a good movie. Yeah, yeah, it was all right. Uh, it was on Mars there, bars. Think. Nice. Uh -huh. Let's go to the Mars bar. Ah, uh, pick up some hookers at the Mars bar. <laughs> I, I thought she was talking about the candy bar. Mars bar. <laughs> no, get it? She is talking about the candy bar, but it was a reference to the Mars. Bar. It was a play on words. Come on, wake Come on, keep up. up, keep up, keep Timothy. Up. <laughs> keep up, catch up, catch up. Catch All right, up. so I got something that's very disturbing here, um, especially being that we went to the carnival just the other day. Mm -hmm. Now, even though this is in Haiti, all right, um, twelve dead in carnival parade accident. Apparently, there were walking down the road in this parade and and the Haitians didn't exactly wire one of their floats properly and oh they got electrocuted 12 people died electrocuted wow <laughs> that, that's crazy yep where are you reading that off of uh, CNN oh. Bay News 9 same story Bay News 9 has 20 people dead 20 people dead yeah. from electrocution wow yeah must have been updated. <laughs> it must have just been updated. Right? Let's see here. Let's see. What um, at least 20 people on a music group packed um, Carnival Float in Haitian capital were killed Tuesday when they were electrocuted by a power line, it says. Um, the accident occurred as thousands of people filled the streets of downtown Port au Prince um, for an annual celebration. People at the scene said someone on the float used a pole or a stick to move a power line so the float could pass under it. Oh, that was a wrong move right there. You, you use a, you're using a, a long pole or a stick. While to they were up, on the while float. While they were on the float. So that was a conductor right there to electrocute everyone else that was on the float. On a metal cage float, nonetheless. Um, the float was sponsored by the Haitian hip-hop group, um, the Barca da Crew. 
the uh, Barkada crew. That's the name of the band. Barkada. Barkada. Barkada crew. Okay. What's their song? What's their hit song? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, exactly. Who let the dogs out? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, some of the victims were instantly electrocuted in the flash of sparks, according to the witnesses. Others managed to jump off, uh, causing panic in the crowd. Um, hundreds of people throgged the hospital. Throgged. Throgged, yes. Who the hell wrote T- this story? T H R O N G E D. Throgged. Yeah, throgged. Mm. Throgged the uh, general hospital where many of the victims were taken, some carrying victims and others searching for fam- family members brought by an ambulance. Don't pick Throgged. up. Don't touch any live wires when yeah, you're a, going <laughs> through a fucking float in a parade. Simple little uh, little piece of advice, everyone. Yeah, uh, it's really not that hard. <laughs> Just run over the fucking cord. Yeah. I mean, you're worried about you know it being crushed by the float right. when you're running I got an over idea. it. Next time, next time, strap your little buddy to the end of a rod, shove it up his ass, lift him up there, have him use his teeth. <laughs> you're safer. You're safer. <laughs> safer. <laughs> That's a good goodness. idea. Yeah, well, no, how about how about not running a fucking electrical cable across the street when there's a folk going or when there's a parade going on? Uh, that would be pretty logical, yeah. yeah. That would that would be the best. What was it? Wait, 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 wasn't it a hanging wire? I don't know. Well, I thought it was a wire hanging that they grabbed the metal thing to lift up and. People at the scene said someone on the float used a pole or a stick to move the power line. Yeah, it was so, a hanging oh, power, power wire. Oh, yeah, okay. so they they stuck the you know what I mean. I thought it was an extension it cord, no, you know, powering something no, no, across no, no, the street. No, 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 well, no. that's 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 the image that I got in there. Gotcha, gotcha. Ah! What's up, baby? You just scared me. Watch the microphone, please. All right, stop kicking it. Jesus, God damn it! I swear nobody looks where they walk anymore. Nobody looks where they walk. They don't. Everybody that comes walking up to my desk right here in the studio kicks something. Nobody this is why I have a self-containing. Mic stand. Don't touch it. We'll be right back. We're gonna take some uh, commercials. Commercials and, and talk shit radio. Everyone, stay yeah. tuned. Yeah. Oh, I don't even have any commercials. Left, so. <laughs> you, you, you don't have any commercials. Up. We're gonna take a couple. Of, yeah, a we're, couple gonna, we're gonna take break. a break, but I gotta load them up first. So bear with us. <laughs> bear with us. We're gonna yeah. take a couple of commercials break break. Break. in a second, momentarily. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, let me get them. You, you got to do them all. You couldn't just do one and then go back to no, that screen. I just had to put a couple up so I can you get them. You could have put up one just so all you could right, do All right, all right, we're going, we're going. The United States Zoological Association and Team USZA Animal Miracle Network supports the owners of all species of pets. Our mission is to educate and help people of the world become better caretakers of the animals you have chosen to be a part of your family. Through the Miracle Network, we strive to grant last wishes for the terminally ill to meet an animal of their choice. It's through education we can save our wildlife and make a better place for them to live amongst us. Join the USZA today at USZA.us and become part of a world loving animals. If you're looking for a better way to clean the air in your home or office, you need the all-new ozone light. It's as simple as changing your light bulbs. The ozone light looks like a normal spiral type of light bulb. It screws in most standard light sockets, but it's not a normal light bulb. It's coated with titanium dioxide. It's completely safe, but this unique coating kills most airborne bacteria, mold spores, and neutralizes odors. Just one light cleans the air in an entire room and lasts eight times longer than the normal light bulb. If you have smokers, if you have allergies, if you have pet odors, mold, or mildew, you need the ozone light. It will wipe them out. And you have our word. If you're not satisfied with the way the ozone light cleans the air in your home, simply return it for a full refund. Call 1-800-380-4095. 1-800-380-4095. 1-800-380-4095. Or visit airtimestore.com. That's airtimestore.com. If you want to work until you keel over, have less of everything in retirement, or give back more of your hard-earned money to the stock market again, then just ignore me. But if you'd like to protect the money you save, receive a steady, predictable retirement income, and enjoy financial security for as long as you live, then listen to this. You can download a free report that reveals the wealth-building secrets Wall Street and the banks don't want you to know. You'll learn how you can get guaranteed growth, safety, 
and real prosperity without risking your money in the Wall Street casino. And how to get the money you need when you need it, simply by asking for it. This is the best way to have a 100% secure retirement and know your money will last as long as you do. To learn more about this method and to get your free report, go to 28security.com. That's the number 28security.com. 28security.com. Go to 28security.com. In these uncertain economic times, you've got to do whatever you can to save money. One of our biggest expenses can be our cars, especially when unexpected repair bills hit. Not anymore. If you own a vehicle with less than 130,000 miles, is less than 12 years old, has a warranty about to expire, or even no warranty at all, you could stop paying for car repairs. Roadside assistance, towing, and rental coverage are all included. Don't wait for the next repair. Make one free call right now to see if you qualify. If your vehicle vehicle is less than 12 years old, has less than 130,000 miles, even if it's out of warranty, paying for car repairs can become a thing of the past. Call us right now and get your car protected before your next repair bill hits. Get protection and no more repair bills. Call 877-229-7271. Again, 877-229-7271. That's 877-229-7271. 877-229-7271. Hey, we're back. Sorry about that. I had to take a little break. Interruptions, interruptions, interruptions. So, just getting tired of people in and out of here if they're not fucking broadcasting. I had jumping in and out, jumping in and out. It's fucking bullshit. Taking my, my eyes off the screen. Yeah. Talk to me about this, talk to me about And then talking off of a microphone. When you come in here, get on a fucking microphone, or shut the fuck up, or stay the fuck out. Well, that's that's your only choices. That's the only choices you got. That's it. Dude, no more coming in here and fucking hanging out. I'm just tired of it. Kicking my fucking microphone, um, whatever. Hey, what's going on? Hey, um, Yvonne, how's it going? Good morning, fart box punchers. <laughs> no tongue bunk, no tongue punching, no fart boxes over here. Yeah, it depends on the fart box, buddy. It depends on the fart box. Here, I'll show you a fart box. I would tongue punch. <laughs> 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 all day long. <laughs> Let's see. How are you, Yvonne? I hope everything's all right. Uh, Rick Simpson answering on debates and cannabis in Belgrade. Nice. That's pretty cool. Um... Hmm. Uh, let's see. I can't listen anymore. I don't have a smartphone. Um, huh? Denise, that that's not good. Oh, oh. I heard that she lost her cell phone or something like that. And she had to get a little... Oh, really? Probably a piece of crap old phone. Uh, good I remember thing, seeing a post up there. It's a good thing her, her head is attached. She would have lost that, too. Gosh, how could you lose your phone, lady? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, I used to lose I've my phone it so many times, times, dude. That and my car keys all, when I had a car, I, I, when, I, when, I, when I was driving. Can't even say nothing about the car keys, buddy. Mm. I got nothing to say when it comes to losing car keys because the last set of car keys I lost um, ended up costing me quite a bit of money. Oh, because you got to pay for the freaking key that has a chip in it, yeah, right? Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And then and then at one point I lost a whole bag of car keys when I was out on the road. Oh, nice. With yeah. all the cars behind you in the trailer? Uh-huh. uh-huh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that was about 900 to to $1,000 God there. damn. Yeah, that hurt. That sucks. Where'd you lose them? In some sort of, in some state? In the desert. Somewhere. In the desert. In the desert. You know what in I used to do when I used to drive? I used to put my cell phone in my lap. Yeah. So when you get out of the fucking car, the cell phone goes, psh, all over. Nice. Nice. Yvonne, you slept since nine. <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you leave here? And then go straight to bed? Holy shit. September, where'd you go? Your last word was holy fuck. And that was about the... Uh, I know, that was the extent of holy fuck. What, holy fuck what? No, we were talking about that. Uh, the, um, the, the Mars? Yeah. The Mars exploration? Yeah. yeah. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But th- that, that brings... Uh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> <laughs> well, I gotta get off this chat. Where's the pictures? Yeah, I gotta get off this chat. Yeah, I Tim can't. Like, I can't say it. I'm going to take a cold shower. Yeah. <laughs> Go splash some water on my head. I mean my face. I there, might. There's September. She's still there. Um, hi September. What's McCall? Uh, 
You guys are fucking me all up this morning. You know what I mean? You got my mind all twisted right now. This fucking chat is killing me. Right? All right. So we have an argument between out-of-state construction workers that turned violent uh, early yesterday that left one, or early today that left one man dead at Bush Boulevard Hotel. In Bush Gardens? Yeah, it was probably two drunks and, and just arguing over who's toothless hooker they got for the night. And oh, so, and then an argument ensued after that? Yeah, yeah. They have to take in some bitch from home from the bar? Who knows, bro? I don't fucking Some know. hua? Just some hua. Some hua? So why would they argue over some of them girls down there? I don't even know. That's the first thing. Because <laughs> they are whoas down there. Well, they're probably like these dirty, freaking fat-ass redneck dudes. Yeah, anyway, so. who hang out on street corners. Um, it was a train. Yeah, that's what I was moving on to. I'm trying to find that post that you sent me. About yeah, the it should be right there. I got it right. Yeah. Um, there was a train in West Virginia that uh, was hauling crude oil, derailed and exploded. Um, at least 27 of the trains, more than 100 cars, veered off the tracks, and at least 15 of them derailed and caught fire. Um, <laughs> I, I, I could see uh, this being a big problem for the residents in the area um, yeah. because one one house was completely destroyed. One person was injured that was in the house. Um, the oil from the train spilled into uh, the river nearby um, mm. is also a drinking water source oh, for the uh, for the counties, for Fayette <sighs> County. Um, even parts, parts of the river had caught fire in the midst of the explosion. Um at least two water treatment plants shut down Monday night. That's fucking um, as, sick, dude. As officials uh, investigate how much oil may have been spilled into the river. Um, about 2,000 people were at risk of losing water service um, in the area, in the counties. Um, I'm baffled by what I see here. Well, I wonder what had happened. I mean, there's... Did you post this? This is posted on the I page, did post right? this, yes, okay. I did post this. this is un- if you want to throw up the audio, that would be audio great. Audio is coming up now. Like 100 tank cars are crude oil that derailed in southern West Virginia. You see the result of a massive fireball there. At least one home catching on fire. People have been evacuated. A state of emergency now in effect. It's happening in uh, Adena Village. Matt Heckle, a reporter from our affiliate WSAZ, he joins us now. By phone. So, Matt, I mean, the video from the crash, the fireball, it just is massive. What's the scene like now? Well, actually, we just got done talking to a state trooper here a little bit ago. He tells us that uh, the fire is finally starting to die down a little bit. Unfortunately, wow. though, the heat, as you can imagine, is still really intense out there. They cannot get crews in there to really investigate this. They're hoping to be able to do that come tomorrow. No, they... Hopefully, the fire will die, die down even more. But I can tell you, just driving into here, uh, a couple miles from the scene, you can just see the black clouds in the sky. And when that uh, eruption happened, we were there for one of those explosions. We were talking to some people from across the river when one of those explosions happened. The heat was just so intense, and it just shot right up into the sky. It's obviously a, uh, a major, major crisis that they're working with here. So there have been, there have been more than one explosion? Yeah, from the people we were talking to, actually, uh, they had just told us that they witnessed another explosion a few minutes before we got on scene. We were actually talking to someone about that, about what he had witnessed when the explosion that we were on scene for happened. At that point, a couple minutes later, uh, fire crews came over and actually told us that we had to uh, leave. We had to drive a couple miles down the road. Right now, we're in Smithers, West Virginia at the high school where a shelter has been uh, set up for people who've been evacuated here. And, and I mean, first of all, have there been any re- uh, reports of injuries or fatalities? And also, how the, how is the weather impacting the response to this? Obviously, the weather is slowing things down. Right now, it's about 20 degrees. It has been snowing all day here. There's a lot of snow on the ground. So that's going to definitely have an impact. The good news, though, you mentioned uh, injuries. We have heard that one person is being checked out, uh, possibly for some inhalation problems, but no other real serious injuries and no fatalities. So as bad as this looks, That's a good as thing. bad as this is, especially yes. for the water system right now, where water treatment plants are being shut down, if that continues, about 2,000 customers here in the area will lose water service tonight. That could obviously have a major impact, but with no real serious injuries or fatalities to report, uh, a lot better than what it could have been here, Anderson. Yeah, no doubt. Wow. 
Well, it seems like firefighters really can't put out the blaze because of how intense the heat is. And yeah. there's probably explosions still going on. It's reported in this article here that said there was explosions still happening. It's still erupting 10 hours after the derailment. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, but luckily no one was killed. Um, the only real big problem is, I mean, not, not to mention that there's a train derailed, but yeah, a house was destroyed and the uh, river was contaminated yep. from drinking source. For, for, Which is going to be, unless they clean it up oh, real, real good. Yeah, they got to clean that shit because they're not going to be able to use that water. Not for many, many years. Yeah. yeah. It'll That's still be real. lingering in there. Very, very sad situation. I wonder how the derailment happened. Uh, I'll tell you, I wasn't over there Neglect, putting quarters. Probably, yeah, no, it wasn't I wasn't me putting quarters time. on yeah, the fucking track. Me. Tell you that wasn't me. Wasn't me. <laughs> wasn't me. I was over here. <laughs> I'm over here now. I'm over here now. Oh, well, you're over here. here now. Yeah, I'm over here. <laughs> you with these guys? <laughs> you with these guys? Yeah, I'm with these yeah. guys over here. Oh, uh, mine left. Yeah, I'm starting to feel a little better, too, September. The last couple of days, I've been sick as hell. Yesterday morning, you heard the difference in my voice. I was like, rah, 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 and I just didn't feel like being here at all. No, I, I like, understand. Yeah. Just like that day that uh, we, 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 it was the day after we got back from Tallahassee, and then oh, you're like, oh, let's go. Let, let's get the freaking studio back, you know, uh, ripped apart. We'll put it back together. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you were hurting for certain those days. My, my mind wasn't even there. You're like, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what are no. you doing? It's over here. Yeah. What do you mean over there? I'm over here now. I'm over here now. I'm over here. Now. Oh, hey, oh, Anthony. He's a big boy. He knows what he said. He knows what he said. <laughs> oh. 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 Um, let's see what else we got here uh, in the news, brother. I actually uh, got some surprising news, which okay. it's going to happen either way. Um, I don't think it's going to pass completely, but okay. it passed the first hur- hurdle. Um to guns uh to allow guns on state university campuses. Okay, let's talk about that. What do you think about that? Bro? Um in some sense I'm really for it. In mm-hmm. other ways, I am definitely against it. Um if if the firearm well, what it is is um the state senate criminal justice committees they cleared a bill. Um it, it's uh 3 uh 3 to 2 to a 3 to 2 vote right. which allows students to carry concealed weapon permits and bring firearms to their campuses. Um, the idea of the guns on the state campuses is something uh, a lot of people have mixed feelings about. Um, I do have mixed feelings about it because I- I'm worried for the people who are going to use those firearms to show off um, and not use it for the intended um the intended purposes. The intended which purpose, is which is self-defense. Right. Yes, right. self-defense. Right. Um, Stop banging on pe- the table. People are going to be carrying these guns because they're able to. Yep. That, that, like, oh, we're allowed? Not for we're gonna, protection, just not, to be cool now. Just to be cool, to carry a concealed weapon. I mean, uh-huh. at that point, you can't go around flashing it. Wait till you, you see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's going to be fucking punk-ass bitches walking around campus going, yo, check out my nine, yo. The other one's going to go like, yo, check this out, yo, 50 caliber, yo. <laughs> but you got to look at it as... Because of the mentality of children. It's the mentality of children, but you got to look at it as... This is a friggin' campus. This is a co- this is a college. You know, it isn't, uh, the it's going to turn into. Um, it, the, the, there's going to be a lot of campuses around that are just going to turn into damn tombstone. Tombstone, um, Arizona. Arizona. Absolutely. Back in the eighteen hundreds. Hundreds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I I'm I'm for it in some sense. I'm against it in a lot of other senses. I'm oh, for wow. ha- hiring paid armed security officers. Well, yes, I'm for that also. But yes. they can't afford that. They don't want to. They don't want to put budget to the, towards that. No, well, then the government um, needs to pay p- to protect our students. It's part of their job, don't you think? I I, I just. <sighs> I don't know. I, I, it's things that make you go, hmm. Not even it makes me go, hmm. It, it makes me go, I hope these kids don't abuse this privilege. It's going to happen. There's going to be that one little poindexter little fuck who got bullied his whole life, and he's going to you know, sit there with the red lipstick and the list, the, the list on the wall like in Billy Madison. Mm-hmm. All right. And I'm sure I go, called that guy. I'm sure glad I called that guy. Yeah, exactly. There's going to be that one little psycho little But that's kid. what they're trying to you know, yeah. prevent. You know, that's why this whole By entire... what? The rest of the college opening fire on him? Because that's what's going to happen. This, this whole entire... Uh, Think about it. This oh. whole entire bill is because of the shooting that happened in... Um, 
in uh, Florida State University back in November, but back my in point December is or whatever it was. Instead of children fleeing and running and trying to stay safe and hiding and everyone's gonna be pulling out the oh, firearms and guns fire. and running yeah, to the scene and just shooting any. Anyway, anybody who's got a way. gun, yeah, I'm telling you, it's yeah, yeah we're gonna be pointed at each Everybody's other. Everybody's gonna pull them out and go, "Oh, you got a gun, you got a gun, you got a gun, you got a gun." You're yeah. not gonna know who to shoot. They're all just gonna start shooting. I'm telling you, I see it happening, bro. I, I see it happening. I, I just, I, I, I just really am for gun safety. I, I, I am I, too. I really, because I don't want to send um, irresponsible kids with firearms into a fucking campus. With a, a locked and loaded gun just in their, you know, holster in their hip, on their back, whatever, on their on their ankle. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just believe that it would be used in a manner that it's not that it's not for it. It's it's not for uh, an intended purpose. They they carry in it just to carry it. That's exact. Yep. That's the exact reason that I'm, I'm against. Um, I don't see it uh, passing completely though. Yes, it, it, it got past the first hurdle, um, but. I don't think it's going to pass. I, I hope it don't. I don't think it's going to pass. I really hope it don't. Yeah. Uh, I really, really hope it the, don't. The bill has been dubbed uh, Guns on Campus Bill. It's guns been, on Campus. Yeah, Guns on Campus. I'm bill. not too sure I want to be part of Guns on Campus, dude. I really don't think no. that's a good idea. No, I don't think it's a good idea either. Uh, it's gonna start, yes, kind of like that. It's going to start in Florida and then what? Go... Uh, Go throughout the whole entire United States. Well, that's yeah, exactly, dude. I mean, you know, what, what's going to happen next? Over here. Right, right. Exactly. We think they're cool. They're bringing hand cannons to school. Right. You distracted? No, not at all. Not at all. I'm answering a question. Multi, multi purpose. Like yes, I'm trying to. Um, better though, better. Um, I, I don't. I don't. I feel very. Um, what? What's the word? What? Blah. No, uh, well, yeah, that's the name of today's show, Tuesday Blah. Blah. No, about that whole guns on campus thing. Oh, I, yeah. I'm very I'm... nervous of that. I have a daughter who's getting ready to go to college, if that's the case. Um, I'm going to sign her up at a gun place and have her set for gun safety, and I'm going to arm her to the gills. I'm afraid for the lives that might be at risk when, if, and when this bill does go. You know, get uh -huh. effective. Uh -huh. um, I, I, I'm afraid of just stupid idiots pulling out their guns. Listen, dude, you ever see Tomb Raider? Yes. You see how much shit that girl carried? Yes. All the weapons she had? Yes. Oh, that's how I'm, I'm, Angie's getting sent to fucking college. If this goes through, there's not going to be... Grenade, 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 Yeah, I'm telling you, forget it. Revolver yeah. here. Yep. yep. AR-15 all collapsed on her fucking back. Oh, yeah, you know, that'd be great. Riot oh, pump. Oh, tech collapsible yep. sub-rifle. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Mac-10 in the fucking backpack. Yeah. You know, nice. I'm telling you, bro. I ain't messing around. If this goes through, my daughter's going to school every morning. With, with They're going to call her fucking Mrs. Rambo. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, brother. I'm not playing no games. Ain't no way. Somebody pulls out a gun, she's going to be instructed to just blow their fucking heads off and ask them why that they made that aggressive move towards her. <laughs> See, there, there, and that's what's going to happen. That's yeah. how it's going to el escalate. escalate. Escalate to that. Yeah. See, yeah. they're they're trying to pass a bill for firearms being on campus. What about other self defense mechanisms? I mean, I don't want to say stun guns. You less know, lethal. Bring, yeah. yeah, less lethal yeah. matters. Um, uh, uh, devices mm -hmm. like like mace, pepper spray. I mean, I can understand that it's not going to be effective as much as a firearm. You could but, use a paintball marker with pepper balls. Yeah, but uh, you got the whole fucking tank set up and shit like that. That's, so what? That, it's still cheaper lot. than a fucking firearm, and it's just as effective, and nobody dies. You see somebody armed with a with a gun shooting it people you pepper him literally pepper him he's done see what i'm afraid of also with this gun this this this, this act being effective is everybody who's going to have a firearm who's are, uh, able to carry a concealed weapon and something does happen at the school god forbid there's a sniper on the roof or something like that um Everyone pulls out their firearm. When the police get there, they don't know who the fuck to go after. That's that's one of my biggest. That's things. that's one of the things. Oh, God damn. Yeah, what's your new mic set up there? Can't. I know. I can't. I can't. Can't do bang my... on the table. Yeah. <laughs> I hear it all, dude. It's like I I get a little. 
I get a little, you know, <laughs> I get a little excited about you, this you, whole situation. You get such into it, I know. I brother. do, because there's so much, there's so much to think about well, with this one, with this well, story. All right, so let's ask the audience, whoever's listening right now, please join us in chat. We're talking about um, this new. What would you call it? Bill or this law? This bill being, um, okay. that 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 enables that that um, that allows students in Florida State universities, campuses, colleges to carry a concealed weapon. If you guys have any opinion about it, hit us up on Spreaker. We're on chat right now. Yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to know what, what what the audience actually has. has uh, to I say think about. I might actually get the phone lines going. Yeah, they can get the phone lines going. I, I would actually like to hear from a couple of different parents out there. Yep. There's, there's a difference between responsible firearm safety and irresponsible firearm And this doesn't just go for anybody who's out there in the chat right now, because right now there's only four of us in the chat bullshitting back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, this goes for anybody and everybody who's out there listening to us right now. Um, please, I want to hear about what you think about co our Florida State colleges, um, the universities, being able to, um, to, uh, to, to carry. Sucking the mic, huh? To carry. What the hell's that? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean there? I don't know. I guess, I guess I'm a little too far. I don't know. I'm too, a little, a little too, too close. close. Explain yourself. Explain yourself. Um, I want to know about, uh, you know, what other people's opinion thinks. Yeah, or what other, <laughs> what people's opinions are on this about, you know, sending your kid. Hell, John, I don't know if you're listening, but I mean... You're getting ready to send your kids to uh, college here. Yeah, what do you think about it? You know, he's got two daughters that are going off to college. Where the fuck is the magic jack? I don't know. Where's the magic jack? Yeah, there you go. Kids drinking college. Uh, so what the fuck oh does that mean? Oh, my God. Where is... Okay. I'm oh, gonna... oh, yeah. Kids being drunk and pulling out their pieces. Sure, say, yeah. Ah, yeah. Boom! Watch this. Right. Hey, you guys want to see something cool? I better get that beer can off your head. Yeah, right? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I hit him in the head. <laughs> Paul. Oopsie. Oops, now he's dead. Whoops, what do we do My now? My roommate's dead. Yep. What do we do now? Should we tell some about that? Let's chop him up into a million pieces, put him in a suitcase, and leave him on the street corner. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Too fucking much, man. I, I can't believe this is actually being considered. It's, it's been considered. Uh, for a while now. We've been talking about it for I know, months. I know, but the more we talk about it, the more stunned I am about it. Because I, I believe that there should be, if this does get you know act uh, effective, I believe that there should be a uh, um, a training, you know, uh, a credential or uh, a training seminar that they have to go through to be able to bring it on campus. It should be another permit that you have to get. Gotcha. She's talking about you, bro. You're either too far or too close or, yeah, on the mic. I'm not talking anymore. Oh, God. Oh, God. Pulling a Tony. Fuck it. Fuck you. Pulling a Tony. <laughs> oh, you didn't even want to let me talk. Or you said something about how I talk. I'm not talking anymore. <laughs> All right, so anybody um, who's listening and we want your input, 352-556-1321, phone lines are open. I want to know about what you think of uh, your kids going to a Florida State University uh, being allowed to um, carry a gun to school with them. I think it's uh, disgusting, but I want to hear from you. So 352-556-1321, give us a shout out. You um, damn well know all the fucking hillbillies. Like, yeah, we're out to bring our shotguns. Woo! I'm going to college now. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. How's that? Is that loud enough for you, Yvonne? Yeah. You know, and she's right on this. Um, college guys have ego issues, a little alcohol, and oops, ego turns into homicide. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have all that beer testosterone flying around, then you're going to have bullet testosterone flying around. Those two combinations, beer, bullet, testosterone, nah. Yeah, I could see you. Um, that... Not good. I, I don't see it passing. You, don't, you I don't, know what I see, I see? I don't see it going through at all. Like, like maybe, yeah, they'll get through this uh, this first little vote over here, but mm -hmm. it's not getting any further. Do you remember the movie The Last Boy Scout? No. You don't remember that? I don't. With Bruce Willis, where no. he brought the pistol on the, on the football field with him, caught the football, no. and then ran down the field. Anybody who tried to tackle him. He shot. Shot him in the head. Made the, made the tackle. And then shot himself in the head. So no, I missed that. One. I figure it should take six months to a year before 
we see something like that on the football field. You know, yeah, that's a good one. Two teams, two rival teams, the Gators and, and the whatevers. The uh, Gators. The, and the, yeah, Florida Gators and the whatevers out there. And, the, you know, next thing you know, someone's losing and fucking gunshots flying across the, I the see Gator Bowl. I guess that'd be a big problem yeah. with freaking football because people take that shit seriously, especially college football with the kids and everything like that. You're sitting in the stands and you're, your son's getting his ass beat by the uh, opposing team and, and a parent, you know, starts to fight with another parent. Right. And then someone he overhears and says, oh, you can't disrespect my team like that or my mother or my friend's mother like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bang. Yeah, and then it starts. Bang. And then it escalates. Uh, we got a voicemail. Let's check out see who it is. I want to hear your uh, you have your opinion, one Yvonne. New message. Press one for first message received Monday, February 9th, nine thirty five p.m. <coughs> Hello, where are you? Press three for advanced message deleted. Yep. No more messages. Press three. Who the hell was that? I don't know. They didn't leave a name or number. No, it sounded like Kara. Oh. Kara Kempmeyer. Oh, yes. It sounded like her. You're calling the magic, um, Jack. Yes, that's what it was. Phone lines. The down. phone line's here. Well, yes, it's still. Sorry. I think I just shut it down for some reason here. No, it is still on. All right. 556-1321, five, five, uh, area code 352. If anybody wants to call in and talk about uh, your kids going to colleges that allow uh, handguns. Now. Uh, let's move on because um, there's a lot of shit that I'm seeing that's disturbing. Here's one uh, that says, uh, did uh, teen kill family over computer use? <laughs> yeah. Fucking cry, baby. How's that grab you, right? Um, I'm going to go on Facebook now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, we do have a phone call coming in. Hello. Talk shit radio network. Hello. You're live. It's Kira. Good morning. I wasn't going to call, but then I started thinking about it. Um, what do you think? How can you how, how can you allow hold on, hold on, I got college campuses with all these egotistical, self-centered kids, but you won't allow a bill to pass for us to allow a police officer to be in elementary or middle schools where we have crazy people going in shooting up children well that's my point i mean how can this how can this be allowed is really what what i'm saying you know what i mean because like you said we're going to have the testosterone filled parties next thing you know or forget the party let's just say uh the gator bowl you know what i mean when they when they have the rival games and and the the, the mm-hmm. you know the stands are going to Adam went to Penn State he there you go there you go he went to college he yeah. said if they pass this this is the stupidest law they'll pass but you'll have so many dead kids. You're talking about putting police officers inside of public schools, right? That's what you said, Yvonne? Mm-hmm. Yes. You, you, you know the county will never fund that. That's that's the reason that's why. That's what I'm saying, yeah. That's the reason why they're not going to fund well, that. Well, the county um, shouldn't fund it. The Who should? School the state? Should, or the state. Well, it's a, it's a university, so the university should pay for it is what I'm saying. But no, she's talking about public elementary schools, right? That's that's what you said. I'm talking in general. If you'll pass a law, then if a school decides to go of their own well-being and hire a police officer or a security guard with a fire with a concealed weapons permit to sit at their school and make sure nobody comes in, why can't they do that? That's what I'm saying. If you're going to allow a bunch of college kids, why can't a school decide on their own free will to pay somebody that? You know, has a background check, has mm-hmm. all this stuff done to come in and make sure that their children and their school is safe. This, yep. The same exact reason is why they won't have metal detectors in front of high school so that they can wand people before they get into the school and make sure they don't have any weapons. Well, exactly. You, 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 you have to it, deal with that, Tim? What? You had to deal with that. I didn't have to deal no? with that. I no, lived in a fucking white oh, district. Yeah. <laughs> I never dealt district. with metal detectors, never dealt with none of that. Um, occasionally, you might get a dog in the school if there was drugs. You know, talk of big drugs going on. But mm-hmm. I never had any of those problems. It's getting worse and worse. And like I said, you know, when I was there with you guys, when the gentleman called in about, you know, the hemp and all that, and I was telling you guys we're, we're fighting the wrong fight. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's coming down to even with all these bills that we're passing, we're passing the wrong shit. We're fighting the wrong things that should help us, and we're passing things that are going to kill us. No, exactly. So. 
let, let's let's fight cannabis and you know say oh how bad it is for everybody when in all actuality surgeon generals are coming out with all their studies saying bullshit start doing some medical testing on it if you did some experiments like you did with all these pills you find out that it's good uh, that you don't want to do that that medical marijuana is all about fucking money that's what it is the pharmaceuticals exactly. you know and pharmaceutical like companies with the, with the guns don't get me wrong i'm i'm a i'm a firm believer in having a weapon to you know if you were of sane mind you go through all the classes and you take your permits and all that if you want to bear arms you have the right to bear arms but allowing a bunch of drunken kids to mm -hmm. walk around a college campus with them, that's stupid. It's dangerous. It's very teachers, dangerous. Teachers, maybe. Kids, no. I don't even think the teachers, Yvonne, I don't think the teachers should have them. Let's say, uh, you know, that circumstances where the, the, the kid decides to slam the teacher on the ground. You remember that? We talked about that. You were here when we yeah, talked when about they, that. When they beat the shit out mm, of the teacher. Yes, I remember that one. Okay, so the teacher pulls the gun out. The kid overpowers and yeah. blows away the teacher. You know what I'm saying? That just escalates. Now all the other kids say, oh, kid with a gun. and uh, You know what I'm saying? No, see, but that goes back to people needing to remember what a gun is used for. Now, come on, you know, if you are of a, a certain height, I mean, you, you have to be in some serious danger. Just because you're going to get a black eye and a fat lip doesn't mean you need to shoot somebody. Well, it's... You know, just because some kid overpowers you and beats your ass, that's one thing. If you are in fear of your life and of you dying, it's the only time a, a gun should be drawn. Ever. And uh, that's just my personal preference. You know, no, no, not, so, I mean, having teachers with guns, yeah, I mean, you do get those egotisticals, but you got cops like that. Look at all these asshole cops shutting off their, their cameras to use their gun instead of their, mm -hmm. their, their strength. Yep. You're telling me you couldn't overpower that asshole? Or, or you know, um, some are getting shot over fucking flashlights or, or shit like that, you know what I mean? See, what I think would be yeah, funny... Yeah, this one's a little off topic. Did you guys happen to see the news article about the guy that fought off 15 cops high on drugs? He was high on meth while masturbating? No, I didn't catch what? that one. Yes. Where did you catch I'll this? I'll find it and I will post it. Yes, there was a guy that was high on meth, fought 15 dudes off while performing his own little act on himself. Where? In, yeah. in public? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was beating his meat on the street. Beating his meat on the street. You know? Beating his meat on the street. It gives a new, yeah, um, you know, but gives a new, new no, uh, meaning to Beat Street. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> beat your feet on beat the street. It. Enough said. That gives whole new meaning to the song. Anyway, I was singing that earlier. <laughs> Right. You're on. But yeah, no, I just figured I'd call in and chime because like I said, you know, I, I'm, I have a young kid and I don't have college here yet for a long time. But, you know, I'm just watching everything fail and I'm watching all the stupid decisions made by the government and all that. And I'm going, uh, yeah, I'm going to live in a box. <laughs> I'm living off the fucking so, grid. I'm just gonna I'm going go, to Canada. Yeah. Well, I'm going to Canada. I'm going to Canada. Hey. Right. <laughs> eh? He eh? says, going to Canada, eh? I don't know what that's a boot. What, what do you know, a boot it? Yeah, exactly. What do you know, a boot it? A boot. All right, guys, we got to move on. Yvonne, I'll talk to you in a bit. All Thanks right, for calling in, Yvonne. One. Thanks for calling in. Bye. Bye. Um, I got to get some commercials up. I got to take a break. Go I need for some it. more coffee. Go for it. Go for it. You sound Go like for Rocky it. over here, dude. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> I must break you. Yeah, I need some more coffee and yada, yada, yada. It's just the, the name of today's show just says everything um, about the show today. It's uh, the Tuesday blah. It's just how I feel. Blah. Blah. So, blah. Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. We'll be right back. If it helps if I hit the right button. <laughs> The United States Zoological Association and Team USZA Animal Miracle Network supports the owners of all species of pets. Our mission is to educate and help people of the world become better caretakers of the animals you have chosen to be a part of your family. Through the Miracle Network, we strive to grant last wishes for the terminally ill to meet an animal of their choice. It's through education we can save our wildlife and make a better place for them to live amongst us. Join the USZA today at USZA.us and become part of a world loving animals.
If you want to work until you keel over, have less of everything in retirement, or give back more of your hard-earned money to the stock market again, then just ignore me. But if you'd like to protect the money you save, receive a steady, predictable retirement income, and enjoy financial security for as long as you live, then listen to this. You can download a free report that reveals the wealth-building secrets Wall Street and the banks don't want you to know. You'll learn how you can get guaranteed growth, safety, and real prosperity without risking your money in the Wall Street casino and how to get the money you need when you need it simply by asking for it. This is the best way to have a 100% secure retirement and know your money will last as long as you do. To learn more about this method and to get your free report, go to 28security.com. That's the number 28security.com. 28security.com. Go to 28security.com. If you're looking for a better way to clean the air in your home or office, you need the all-new ozone light. It's as simple as changing your light bulbs. The ozone light looks like a normal spiral type of light bulb. It screws in most standard light sockets, but it's not a normal light bulb. It's coated with titanium dioxide. It's completely safe, but this unique coating kills most airborne bacteria, mold spores, and neutralizes odors. Just one light cleans the air in an entire room and lasts eight times longer than the normal light bulb. If you have smokers, if you have allergies, if you have pet odors, mold or mildew, you need the ozone light. It will wipe them out. And you have our word. If you're not satisfied with the way the ozone light cleans the air in your home, simply return it for a full refund. Call 1-800-380-4095. 1-800-380-4095. 1-800-380-4095. Or visit airtimestore.com. That's airtimestore.com. I didn't believe it. Neither did I. No way could you professionally remove unwanted hair, pain-free, and at home. My thoughts exactly. Remove my face and body hair without expensive, painful office visits. Not possible. Great minds think alike. Until I tried No-No Pro. Mm Mm-hmm. Wait, you tried No-No? Yes, and it works. I use it on my face, legs, bikini line. We're BFFs, and you didn't tell me about No-No? Here, this is my new No-No Pro. The most powerful No-No made. Custom treatment levels, less hair in less time, perfect for any skin type. Try it. No hair, no pain, no time. Time-consuming, expensive office visits? No. No. And no, no. For a limited time, you can try No-No Pro risk-free. You'll also get the facial kit and a travel case. Get weeks of long-lasting results. That's it. I'm getting a no-no. Great minds do think alike. (laughs) Try No-No Pro risk-free by calling 800-953-2993. 800-953-2993. That's 800-953-2993. 800-953-2993. If you're looking for a better way to clean the air in your home or office, you need the all-new ozone light. It's as simple as changing your light bulbs. The ozone light looks like a normal spiral type of light bulb. It screws in most standard light sockets, but it's not a normal light bulb. It's coated with titanium dioxide. It's completely safe, but this unique coating kills most airborne bacteria, mold spores, and neutralizes odors. Just one light cleans the air in an entire room and lasts eight times longer than the normal light bulb. If you have smokers, if you have allergies, if you have pet odors, mold or mildew, you need the ozone light. It will wipe them out. And you have our word. If you're not satisfied with the way the ozone light cleans the air in your home, simply return it for a full refund. Call 1-800-380-4095. 1-800-380-4095. 1-800-380-4095. Or visit airtimestore.com. That's airtimestore.com. If you are successful at what you do, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a business owner, or you have a great career, you understand the concept of protecting yourself. Well, are you protecting yourself, your family, and your assets with quality term life insurance? Consider these possible rates. A man age 45 non-tobacco user could obtain $1 million of coverage for as little as $75 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 10 years. We specialize in policy of $500,000 and above. A man age 50, non-tobacco user, may be able to obtain $500,000 of coverage for as little as $115 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 20 years. We have great rates for smokers, too. Call the Term Lifeline now. 800-430-1481. 800-430-1481. 800-430-1481. 800-430-1481. That's 800-430-1481.
Attention small business owners. Growing your business can be tough. Just when you thought you were making money, you found out that you owe the government money. And now that you owe the IRS their cut of your business profits, you may be broke. And if you don't take things seriously, you could go to jail or have your business shut down. But you do have an option. If the IRS is threatening you for unpaid taxes, call the Tax Resources Network. Their tax professionals and ex-IRS agents have over 23 years of experience dealing with the IRS, saving business owners and the self-employed millions in tax dollars. Let us negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. We may be able to reduce your tax debt for a lot less than you owe, help with the IRS audit, and even criminal investigations. If your business owes the IRS $15,000 or more and the IRS is threatening you, don't wait and let your business get shut down or worse. Call for a free consultation. Call 800-917-1799. 800-917-1799. That's 800-917-1799. Again, 800-917-1799. Let me ask you a question. Are you getting enough? I bet you'd love more, right? Well, AdamandEve.com wants to give you more with 10 free gifts. First, you'll get a sexy surprise for her. Second, a specially selected toy for him. And third, a little something we know you'll both enjoy. Plus, you'll get six full-length adult movies on DVD. And number 10, free shipping on your entire order. So what do you have to do to get your 10 free gifts? It's not hard. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy, sexy piece of lingerie, or anything you desire. Just enter offer code GIFT13 at checkout and you'll get all 10 free gifts. Go check out adamandeve.com today. Select one item and get 10 free gifts, including free shipping, when you enter offer code GIFT13. That's G-I-F-T-13 at adamandeve.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 dollars of pill pharmacy prices again get viagra for less than three dollars a pill call 1-800-441-3678 today and save up to five hundred dollars and get 40 pills for just 99 dollars. healthy man is fast easy and affordable operators are waiting at 1-800-441-3678 to take your call now call 1-800-441-3678 that's 1-800-441-3678 again 1-800-441-3678 Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, auto pay, and paperless billing, and other restrictions apply. If you can't see the difference, why pay the difference? Switch to DISH for the best deal in entertainment. Only DISH brings you the best in entertainment for less than $20 a month. Cut the cable and don't get directed. Switch to DISH because at just nineteen ninety nine, DISH saves you every time you turn on the TV. It's so simple. The same channels cost less with DISH. So since you can't see the the difference don't pay the difference switch to dish for the best deal in entertainment get premium movie channels free for three months starting at just 1999 dish saves you every time you turn on the tv call now to save with dish dial 1-800-518-1300 that's 1-800-518-1300 the same channels for less than 20 bucks a month dish call 1-800-518-1300 for details Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich, working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare, having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom150.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom150.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 150.com. Go to freedom150.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom150.com. 
Good morning, Vietnam! Hey, this is not a test. This is rock and roll. Time to rock it from the Delta to the DMZ. Is that me or does that sound like an Elvis Presley movie? Viva Da Nang. Oh, Viva Da Nang. Da Nang me, Da Nang me. Why don't they get a rope and hang me? Hey, is it a little too early for being that loud? Hey, too late. It's 0600. What's the O stand for? Oh, my God, it's early. Speaking of early, how about that Cro-Magnon, Marty Drywitz? Thank you, Marty, for silky smooth sound. Make me sound like Peggy Lee. Freddie and the Dreamers. The wrong speed. We've got it on the wrong speed. For those of you who are recovering from a hangover, that's going to sound just right. Let's pull it right back down. Let's try a little faster, see if that picks it up a little bit. Let's get up on 7, 18. Those pilots are going right now. I really like the music. I really like the music. I really like the music. Oh, still a bad song. Hey, wait a minute. Let's try something. Let's play this backwards and see if it gets any better. This new vip. Freddy is a devil. This new vip. Freddy is a devil. Hey, uh, hi, can you help me? What's your name? My name's Roosevelt Lee Roosevelt. Roosevelt, what town are you stationed in? I'm stationed in Poon Tang. Well, thank you, Roosevelt. What's the weather like out there? It's hot. Damn hot. Real hot. Hot in things is my shorts. I can cook things in it. Little crotch pot cooking. Well, can you tell me what it feels like? Foo, what is hot? I told you again. Were you born on the sun? It's damn hot. You can be a little thing. I saw it so damn hot. I saw one of those little guys in the orange robe burst into flames. It's that hot. You know what I'm talking about. But what do you think it's going to be like tonight? It's going to be hot and wet. That's nice if you're with a lady, but it ain't no good if you're in the jungle. Thank you, Roosevelt. Here's a song coming your way right now. Nowhere to Run To by Martha and the Vandellas. Yes! Hey, you know what I mean. AFBN, rocking you from the Delta to the DMZ. AFBN, better than AFVD, which means you have to get a quick shot. We're moving on right now. Here's a little riddle for you. What's the difference between the Army and the Cub Scouts? Ah. Uh -huh. Cub Scouts don't have heavy artillery. Hey, I'm here in an hour. I'm going to get a 1600. Why? Because I have to. Hit the army. Talking out the field today. Hi, what's your name? Hey, Bob Fibber. Bob, what do you do? I'm in artillery. Thank you, Bob. Can we play anything for you? Anything. Just play it loud, okay? No, I have to admit something to you. I just came from Crete with women that look like Zorba. Woo, thank you. <laughs> Those girls are just so pretty. Gomer, are you here in Vietnam? Yes, I am. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Linda, why did you name your daughter Linda Bird? Because Linda Dog would be too cruel. Ah, easy, girl. Easy. You know, if you pick them up by their ears, it doesn't hurt them as much. Oh, you're going straight to hell for that one. Watch out over there. <laughs> Here's an incredible coincidence. Ho Chi Men, Colonel Sanders, actually the same person. You be the judge. Our lines are open. Something real special right now. We've got a traffic report up there on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. How's it going up there? Well, uh, Adrian, it's not going uh, exactly well. There's a water buffalo jackknife up there. It's not a very pretty picture. There's horns everywhere. I don't know what to say. We're going to maybe drop in a little nape on there and try and cook him down. Maybe a little barbecue. We've got a special man in the audience today right now. It's Mr. Leo. He's a fashion consultant for the army. But thank you, Adrian. I'm just very happy to be here. I want to tell you something. You know, this whole camouflage thing for me doesn't work very well. Why is that? Well, because you go in the jungle, I can't see you. <laughs> you know, it's like wearing stripes and plaid. It's for me, I want to do something different. You know, you go in the jungle, make a statement. If you're going to fight, clash. You know what I mean? <laughs> thank you for that lovely tune, that funky music will drive us till the dawn. Let's go, let's boogaloo till we puke. That's about it for the Adrian Cron Hour. I'm going to take myself out of the driver's seat, but I'm going to turn you over right now to Mr. Excitement, a man with limp-damaged hair, but nevertheless a fireball, Dan Levitan. Talk Shit Radio is a Kennedy Studios production. The opinions stated by various contributors to Talk Shit Radio and its radio programs are not to be considered as or endorsed by Kennedy Studios Incorporated. Visitors are urged to use their own discretion to draw their own conclusions. All information, product, services, and use of this website is for entertainment purposes only and personal use only. Talk Shit Radio Network does not confirm nor deny the validity or accuracy of the information contained within the website or broadcast. Any services or products provided by Talk Shit Radio Network and its host contributors should be used solely for entertainment purposes only. This is Joseph, and you're listening to us on Talk Shit Radio. Star Galactic. And, ba and the bad thing is, the frack was from the new Battlestar Galactica. Oh, even though we were kids. One. Yeah, that makes. Yeah, I was gonna worse. say, I watched it on Netflix. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you, you do know. This shit was I do recent. know about the frack. <laughs> yeah, he knows about the frack. Yo, can you guys get any good frack? <laughs> That could be. Just slide on down to Yo, Twig. Man. Slide on down to Twig Street and get yourself a nice big chunk of frack. We don't smoke frack around here, man. <laughs> you don't have a delivery? He's seen it done on the radio, right? Like frack, sorry, frack. Frack, 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 fr
Yeah, this is uh, Brooksville Bob, and you're listening to uh, Talk Shit Radio, and uh, we're going to teach you a lot of cool stuff. Tune in and see. too sure what happened to my sound in the studio that shit just dropped out in the middle of uh yeah dude. the stage very very strange i'm gonna hit a stage real quick hmm. hey everyone welcome back to talk shit radio <laughs> thanks right, for joining we'll try that again <laughs> let's try that again <laughs> it worked that time second take <laughs> take two yeah i had to shut everything down i had, I had some shockwave problems going on here tim so did um, you yeah, yeah i got That's a, right. I got another tab open ready to go but, no i understand yeah, so i understand this you understand this i understand this see but mish He's, i'm not the only one that says it you gonna dye your hair today mish look at that again get that done your roots look amazing though yeah the roots look great look. can't get nothing fucking else to to work with me the way i want it to go though Tried to dye it blonde. The roots came out gorgeous, did they not? They did. You did a good job on them. I did a good job on them because we both dyed our fucking hair. <laughs> but, uh... See, I got two bottles to go through. I don't know what it is. For years, dude, for years, I used to be able to blonde her hair and make it look blonde. But it's funny because what she has in her hair right now... It's I not can't her get it out. It's not her natural hair. I don't yes. understand why it's not dyeing. She, you, every, she keeps going with these dark browns and these reds. I can't get the fucking shit to come out of her hair. She won't let her natural hair grow in because she's starting to go gray. Starting to. She's got maybe like three on her whole head. Five. <laughs> Jeez, look, at, look at him. I've been going gray since I'm in my 20s, though. He's a boy. Oh, yes. Wow. Yeah. I've been going bald since I was 19. What do you mean going? I'm still going bald. <laughs> You're there, but I'm You're not bald. there. No, he I'm says, not. no, I'm not. I'm no, not even at George Costanza. That, yeah, yeah, that guy in the store the other day, he was bald. We saw Rick. Oh, yeah, Rick Scott. We saw Rick Scott. <laughs> His twin. We did. Yeah, I know. Where were we? Sorry. We were in Lowe's. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we were in Lowe's. That was funny. You said it loud enough for dude to hear you too. Yeah, I was like, look, Rick Scott. How, yeah, I wonder how many times a day he hears that shit too. Yeah. That's right. funny as hell. That's what it looked like. Yeah. It did look like Rick Scott, yeah, I gotta tell you. Yeah. So what's this? The standoff ends peacefully in St. Pete? What standoff? I don't know. I guess there was a standoff in St. Pete. I'm still trying to bring up windows here. If it was a standoff, how did it end peacefully? <laughs> this is true. That's like, uh, isn't that a... What, That's what, an oxymoron right there. That was the word I was looking it's for. An oxymoron. oxymoron. Yes. 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 <laughs> right. That would, that's like, um, you know, saying, uh, you know, I had a cup of uh, oil and water this morning and it went down perfect. Yeah, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work at no, all. It's not gonna. It's not gonna go down perfect. Talk about this fucking couple, dude. Oh yeah, I was just reading this. I, I know this is killing you. I can see you got uh, it up in front of you, and I'm curious. I do. I'm sitting there reading it. Uh, San Diego. Listen to this, Mish. Ready, Mish. Ready, ready. San Diego couple visits Disney theme parks in Tokyo, Anaheim, and Orlando on Valentine's Day, all in one day. So what they did. Um, they started in Tokyo, Disneyland, and it was 9.50 a.m. Right, I was just going to say, because of the time difference. Yeah. Yes. So they started They started out, you know, in the morning at Tokyo, because right. that's basically when the day starts around the world. Um, <laughs> they walked in, they snapped a photo, left, hopped a, five, uh, a 10-hour flight to Los Angeles, they arrived to Disneyland around noon. You know, this time, uh, Pacific time. Mm -hmm. um, they 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 walked into the park. They snapped another photo. Um, I guess that they they stayed there for a little while because they raced to the airport to catch the Orlando bound flight and arrived in Disney World uh, in Orlando, Florida, at eleven forty p.m. twenty minutes before the park closes. That's pretty cool, actually. 
It's a um, waste of money. It, it, it waste of fucking money. Now, it, all together, with the time difference. how much money I had. That's a waste of money. I know. Um, all together, it was a 28-hour um, trip. And it went for 8,000 miles, 7,900-mile uh, global trip to celebrate uh, the love for each other mm-hmm. on the happiest place on Earth. Looks like we have another quake outside of the island of Japan with a, with a tsunami warning issued. Uh, the, the quake was recorded about 8 a.m. local time, uh, Japanese time, uh, at the depth of approximately 10 kilometers. Uh, the Epic Center was located off the uh, San Rica coast, extended from uh, south uh, southern Amori. Um, Amore. Yeah, Perfecture uh, throughout Awadi, whatever. Uh, strong quake could be felt in Tokyo, uh, and they've put up the tsunami warnings and everything like that. So that that's um, that's not good. Now your standoff that you were talking about that ended peacefully. Mm-hmm. It was in Saint Petersburg. It was. Um, it says Saint Petersburg. Police say a man involved in a hostage situation in St. Petersburg Tuesday mo- morning surrendered pre- peacefully. Ah. Um, SWAT had been called out of their homes uh, near the SWAT had been called out to uh, the home near 58th Avenue North and 13th Street uh, after re- receiving uh, reports about a man holed up inside who is holding one woman hostage. A uh, two-hour standoff ensued with the man who police uh, believes was armed. It was not clear what the relationship between the man and woman were uh, or led to the uh, uh, the eventual standoff. No schools were placed on lockdown. Um, there's no more uh, about this, but I guess I guess someone was held hostage in a, uh, a home in St. Petersburg. So that was basically that. What do you got over there? Uh, FEMA shit about um, how FEMA has activated the clergy response teams. I don't know if anybody's followed the clergy response teams and, and any shit that's supposedly with that, but uh, well, I'll give you a little insight on it and see if there's commercial. For it. That's a sick beat. That's yeah, pretty good. Okay. Fighting the war on hell. Alrighty. Sounds like it's going to be quite biblical. It looks, yeah, it looks like a documentary regarding this. Hi, this is Lisa Haven, and I've got some breaking information for you guys. But here's our headline. Has FEMA activated the clergy or pastor response teams? Question mark. Church pushes congregation to submit to the government. And not only that, folks, no, but also pushes them to report their neighbors. Let's dive right in. Okay, so here's our headline, and it comes directly from Infowars.com. And it states, Church asks followers to submit to government. Call 911 on suspicious neighbors. I Okay. <clears throat> On what That's suspicious neighbors that you think could be a terrorist? Dude, I, mean, who, I don't even know. I'm not going to go any further. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just cut it right there. <laughs> yeah. Just cut it right there. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not even going to go any. Further. I'm not even going to take yeah. that any further. Yeah, no, that's that's pathetic. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. That was that's a little too biblical, a little too religious yeah. for my taste this morning. No, no thank you. I, I, I understand. Um, here's one from your newswire. It says, are we about to enter into an ice age? What do you think of that, Bubba? I don't know. It sounds, uh, it feels pretty good down here. Yeah, it's not too cold, right? Not too cold, not too hot. We got a video. We have audio to it, so let's check this out. Hopefully it's not uh, some biblical shit. <laughs> Um, Climate chaos, <coughs> mini ice 14 age. Fourteen minutes starting. long, so we're not going to play the whole thing. But 2015, 
Guys, I was sent information on this. I want to go over it with you. I Jesus. did a lot of checking on it before I did the report and some of the other information that this group puts out. But it, but is issued twice a year by a group of scientists from around the planet, led by an ex-presidential advisor and someone that's worked with NASA on space shuttle design. They know what's going on, but they're non-government now because they refuse to take funding because they won't go along with the global warming propaganda. But I want to read from this because it goes along with what we've seen in the videos for the last few years where we show the, show the uh, polar drift chart. This guy's like pulling teeth. I know. I, uh, Jesus Christ. Gomer Pyle it's on like the mic Say today. something already, dude. Let's have some fucking I know. Info. Stop freaking leading us on a string over here. All yeah, right, get to your next word. Get to your next right. point. I hate that. We'll cut that one off, too. What else you got, bro? Because... I mean, I'm, I'm getting aggravated. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I, I, I have the other is. stories that patience, I've had bro? up right now. My patients are thin as fuck today, bro. I don't know what it is. Um, I pulled this up on Bay News 9. It says in Dade City, before the civil rights, rights movement, racism became uh, came in many forms, including segregation in schools, uh, eating uh, establishments, and even transportation. Uh, in Dade City Cemetery, racism is revealed itself after death. Um, at a uh, cemetery in Dade City, um, a reminder of Jim of the Jim Crow area era. Um, it says um, they didn't allow blacks to be buried in white cemeteries, so then they had their own segregated cemetery. Um, it seems like someone's actually trying to restore the uh, the. The headstones that are in this cemetery um, in Dade City. I, I oh, okay. I thought it was in light thought, of yeah. Black History Month. Remember, in history, once segregated, once segregated Pasco County mm -hmm. Cemetery. I just pulled that up. Um, geez, I'm gonna break your hands. You're gonna break my hand. I, I, yes. You gotta tie my hand behind my. You and your back. fucking new little microphone, babe. All I hear, he's got this microphone on his desk. His little microphone set up here. We're gonna put it back to the stand. All I hear is him touching it. Everyone hears that if now. You, yeah, if you Everyone knows exactly what, what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, I'll take a picture of it and just post it on Facebook. All right, so here's something that's uh, very interesting that, um, you know, I'm always uh, suspicious of our government, so this, this pops out right, you know, right up in front. It says, U.S. government named as biggest malware publisher spying on millions. Now, what malware is is exactly that. It's spyware. It, it helps people get into your um, computer and... You know, look through your files it and starts shit like to that. hack through your shit, so right. then they can get information personal. Right. Apparently, I saw the look. Don't worry, I saw the look. Oh, they're watching. Um, <clears throat> apparently, you know, right? They they can they can spy on you through malware and all of that kind of good shit. So, uh, U.S. government, which you know makes sense, um, wanting to spy on its citizens and see what everybody's talking about. Not even talking about what you're looking at. Oh, well, not that. You know what it is. It's it's when a large group of people start talking, okay, and the government's looking for what they would consider conspiracy, all right, or um, what they would also deem as a threat to national security. Now, mm. that could also be uh, another political, you know, party that's deciding, hey, listen, we're mad as hell and we're not going to take it anymore. So now you got the government, you know, uh, putting malware in their shit and Going, oh, you man, to tell you're not going to take it anymore. Guess what? We rock you up. You cannot overthrow us. That's the mentality, bro. But is that the mentality that we have? That is our government's mentality. If we come in. <laughs> what you doing in King Jong Un voice? I don't know. <laughs> that is the government's mentality. If um, if they deem you a threat and they feel that you're going to, you know, lead ma lead the masses, they'll eliminate you. See, and I was always afraid, um, you know, looking on different websites for firearms mm -hmm. getting more knowledge about it because i always wondered if they were actually looking into my computer looking on my ip address you know absolutely. to get into there to see what i'm looking at um, absolutely the nsa has a building and where was that michelle do you remember where that building was it's like 60 acres of nothing but sponges giant mm -hmm. computers that just soak up all of this information and, and that go through everyone is viewing and looks through no the system automatically picks and chooses through what it wants to flag if you say a certain keyword, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, bomb mm -hmm. and that A word that the, the towel heads scream and you know what I'm saying? Keywords. 
together in a sentence, yeah, and all no, that yeah, kind of shit. Flags your conversation. There's got to be so many different words that they're forgetting. You know, you can pull it up. Got yeah, keywords. It was actually um, the NSA's keyword. And um, yeah, keyword. Keyword. Uh, what, what? What was it? Keywords. There you go. Keyword. Yeah, yeah, that'll. 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 Read it. Read it. Come on. Look, it's taking you to a special website now. Dun, dun, dun. Look at September. She's like, they're, they are me. They are me. They are me? They are me. They are me. Great. They are me. Uh, oh, they're probably, you know, oh, yeah. looking yeah. at her. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, for domestic spying. No, that's not what they're looking at. They don't give a shit about Cannabis. us wanting to legalize marijuana. They're worried about terrorists and shit like that and, and uh, homegrown. They're looking for the David Koresh's and shit like that. Now, that is all your, your keywords right there. Yeah. Yep. Now, I, half of them are fucking abbreviations. Uh-huh. Exactly. But that's what they look for. I don't know what huh. it is. Lacrosse. Oh, geez, I wonder how many times my, my shit was flagged when I was typing in lacrosse. Yeah, right? right? Every time. And undercover. Right here. Yep. You got What else? Um, Jack, what's... investigation, spook words. Oh, wow, spook words. Ooh. Flashbangs. Um, you all right, babe? Are you seeing flashing lights or something there? Hackers. Yeah, there's all sorts there's of, a lot. Yeah. Fireware. Uh, computer terrorism. There's Lots of, of abbreviations lot. for organizations and stuff like a that. A lot of abbreviations. Yeah, working. CDC, I see, jumping out. CID. You know, I see CDC up there. i just seen it. You got AOL, seriously. CIA. Kaboom. DEFCON. S September says kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a word. I bet it's on there. <laughs> I doubt it. <coughs> but it's pretty funny. It is, and the Central system, yeah, the system sifts through all of that kind of shit and says, "Oh, keyword counter," and then somebody looks at it and well, they either mark it, you know, classify it. Blowfish, Glock, wow, um, yeah, blowfish, blowfish. Right that, here. that was probably some kind of operation they had. Probably, yeah. um, fetish bite. is that fetish? Yes, I saw a fetish. I see that right there, just somewhere. above blowfish. Yeah, right here. Um, um, dead. Where do you see dead? Just before blowfish. Oh, yeah, dead. Wow, that's some weird fucking words. Yeah, there's some weird words that they fly. Flintlock. Oh, jeez. Yeah, well. Uh, oh, freedom, yeah. cocaine. Cocaine. <laughs> I was watching Scarface yesterday, actually. You watched the Scarface? Yeah. Oh, they were all over you, then. Yeah, they were all over <laughs> me. I was watching the Scarface yeah. yesterday. Mm -hmm. They're all over it. Kilo class. Kilo class. Yeah, kilo class. What does that mean? I don't fucking know. Let's kilo, kilo class. Let's 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 give mm -hmm. him a ping. <laughs> give him a little. Give him a little fucking give step. This by the little step. Kilo class. That's what what is that? Watch the phone ring and be like, "Hey guys, if I were you, just I'm watching. You. Move on with your show." <laughs> <laughs> Magic Jack jumps on. Right. Yeah, yeah that, that would be, be really be fucked up, especially uh, yeah. being that it's right here. That it's out. Yeah, that would really. Oh, a kilo up. class is a submarine. Oh, I should have um, known that. That is a NATO reporting name yeah. for naval diesel electric submarine. Uh, see, I should have known that. I thought it was like drug school or some shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought it was also. <coughs> you hear my voice now? My sinuses are getting all clogged up again. No, but you're getting cleared out a little bit. I hear it like a little. Do you? Uh, yeah, I hear it a little lot better. Mm. A lot better from what it was yesterday. Cocaine whore. I know, I saw No, that, that actually might um, get thrown up on the street and throw flags out on the street, but I don't know about the NSA. Well, it depends on who. In the NSA, they might say cocaine whore. Oh. <laughs> Hooker, prostitute. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They might want to flock to that area and do a yeah. personal investigation. They hear exactly. cocaine whore. You know how all them fucking NSA guys are like snorting it up the fucking brains? It's funny, September said that. She's like, cocaine whore. Cocaine whore. September is in rare form today. I know. She is feeling better um, to where I wish I was because I really don't feel. I feel a little better than I did yesterday, but. Pff. <clears throat> I could just go back to sleep. I'll be honest with you. Illuminati is one of them. <coughs> that I can. That I can imagine being resident one of them. is one of them. Nike. Hey, did you ever watch? Do you, Do you know about any of the Illuminati and never you know read about? I never really completely went into it. Shit like that. I never really knew. And my daughter Felicia was posting a lot of uh, Illuminati um, quotes, and some of them were actually pretty interesting. So I looked into it and wanted to know about the Illuminati. Uh huh. It might not be something I want to know about, dude. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, it was, they uh, say all these freaking people oh, are dude, part that, of the Illuminati. Yeah, yeah, bro. Not only that is is how in depth they say that they are in the government and how they're going to take over and all of this, and it's fucking scary when you think about that shit, bro. Yeah, they're not going to take it. But see, I question that along with um, what's the hacker name? Uh, um, see, it's so good I can't even remember it. Anonymous. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I question that along with them. If you guys are so big and bad, let's do something. Get up on cable TV without anybody, you know, knowing. And, I know, saying, and, saying, oh, I'm in the Illuminati. What does that listen, mean? Listen, I got a challenge for the Illuminati. All right, have a puppet. Make two puppets. Do something. Listen, yes. Here it is. You ready? I'm going to lay down a challenge for the Illuminati. Okay. September says she knows someone in the Illuminati. Okay, so pass this on to, oh, no, that's not the Illuminati, to Anonymous. Oh, Anonymous. Right. Anonymous. I want to lay down a challenge to Anonymous. I want to see on Bay News 9, all of a sudden I want them to, to cut the, you know, the news feed. Uh-huh. And then have two different puppets, okay? One of um, Osama bin Laden mm -hmm. and one of Obama bin Laden. Mm -hmm. And have Osama... <laughs> Okay, have Osama banging Obama right in the ass, right on live TV. With marionettes? With marionettes. Marionettes. Yeah, and, and music in the background going, do 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 Some really fucking keystone shit. I mean, that you want to impress me? That's like Eddie Murphy talking to Stevie Wonder. Hey, man, listen, man. You want, you want to press me, man? Listen, listen. You want to impress me? Take the, take the wheel for a while, motherfucker, and drive. <laughs> you ever heard that skit from Eddie Murphy? No, I haven't. They're in a car skit. driving, Eddie and Stevie Wonder, and Stevie's talking, and Eddie goes, Man, shut the fuck up. You want to press me? Here, Stevie, take the wheel for a while. I've never seen that skit. I actually only saw a couple of Eddie Murphy's stand up comedy. Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh huh. Know. We're going to have to watch a few of them. Yeah, we only seen a couple of them. Yeah, we'll have to put on the best one. That's I only like a few stand up comics that actually, you know. Johnny's ass is busy today. I guarantee he's getting swamped getting his ass kicked right now i wonder if it snowed last night it's probably why <coughs> we haven't heard from him he's Actually, probably getting swamped at work well yesterday there was problems up in oklahoma where um uh joe exotic wasn't able Ice, to yeah. broadcast i saw that i was bummed because i was actually tuned in and ready at the right time today yeah last time i fucking today, got yesterday? there yeah I, last last week before the show started i'm like yeah 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 no problem no problem uh that was towards the end of the show I'm waiting for it. I'm like, Joe, where's the show? He's like, dude, it's like almost over. I'm like, huh? Huh? Duh. Timmy texts me. Are you going to even make an appearance, bro? Yeah. I'm no, like, huh? Appearance. I'm waiting for the show to start. Huh? Uh, it's almost over. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. It's the time difference. Had me all fucked up. Um, being sick. God. Yep. It's 20 degrees out there. Oh, it's 20 degrees in New York. New York. Right? Light <laughs> snow. Brr. It is nipply, for sure, the, uh, and not a good kind of nipply. I'm glad I'm not over there. <laughs> like nipply, we're talking about can cut fucking glass. Yeah, like your nipples are so damn hard because it's so fucking cold that you bump into a fucking glass it'll door shatter. and it'll shatter. Yeah, who are you flapping with over there, baby doll? You got like three different chats going, six different windows. She's very popular right now. She is, man. She's Shelly, you're so popular. Who are you chatting with, baby? Jeff wants to know when, when can he come on. Jeff what? Waters, give him the phone number. Tell him to call up right now. <coughs> call up right now. We, we can talk shit right now. Absolutely. You what you want to talk about? Let's do it. Let's do it. <coughs> uh -huh. What? He's plugging in the magic magic stick. Getting that phone system going up. When I say phone system, I just mean the magic jack, folks. That's yeah, what it I is. Blow that up. Yeah, listen, let me tell you something, all right? For for whatever we, the hell we pay per year, um, tell me that some bits don't work. Oh, it works. Yeah. It works. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, I can't wait to get an engineer in here that's actually went to school and have him. What are you whispering over there? Nothing. <laughs> oh. um, I can't wait to get an engineer in here that actually went to school for all of this shit. Uh-huh. And say, okay, sit down, set my board. But first I want you to sit back and look at how I got it hooked up and how I'm doing this. I can't wait to see the reaction. They're going to be like, wait a minute. How is that even possible? This, it's just, it's not possible. They'll look at it and say, oh, I know exactly what this no, is. No, they're going to look at it and be befumbled because they're going to be like, it's not possible that it's working the way you have this hooked up and broadcasting. It's just not physically possible. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm going to befumble somebody. I'll be like, uh, they're going to they're definitely 
take a picture of it and be in school and go, this is the right way how to do something, and this here, show you a picture of Talk Shit Radio, is the wrong way of how to do it. <laughs> um, Coast Guard searches for two boaters missing off Gulf Coast. Um, this is Hudson Beach, Florida. Uh, oh, cruise from the Tony's US. missing. <laughs> Tony's missing. <laughs> Crews from the U.S. Coast Guard and the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission are searching for two men who uh, sent a mayday call saying their 29-foot fishing boat. Damn. It is Tony. More and more like Tony every day. He's out. He's gone. Uh, Saying their 29-foot fishing boat was taken on water in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, The call came from someone who heard... The call early Tuesday morning. The call came in from someone who heard the call early Tuesday morning. Uh, the man so it told, was a relay. So it was a relay yeah. from some other fishing boat, I guess, Not that was good. docked. Yeah. Um, the man told the Coast Guard the vessel was called the Miss Melody. Um, was located eight miles off the coast of Hudson Beach, um, which is north of Clearwater. Yeah, you know where Hudson Beach is. Yeah. Just uh, down the road. Yeah, yeah, just south of us. Yep. I got asked to leave that bar. You got asked to leave that bar in Hudson Beach? I did. Uh, yeah, I got asked to leave. Nice. I was a little um, drunk barred. and out of hand. Yeah. Well, Michelle said she wanted a blowjob, referring to the drink blowjob. Uh-huh. I was so drunk that all I heard was blowjob. What is that, Kahlua and cream or something like that? I don't know what the fuck like it was. Even that night, I wouldn't wouldn't been able to tell you. And even if you put the ingredients in front of me, I'd go, blowjob! And I would, still would have grabbed her head and shoved it in my lap. Yeah, nice. So needless to say, they asked me to leave. <laughs> Remember, but, <laughs> Getting a little unruly, sir. I'm going to have to bar you. Take the keys away. You're not ba- driving. Basically. No, I drove. It was bad. <laughs> You know how many times I had my keys taken away because yeah, no, they home knew home who I was, and, and, and I don't care what situation or what mm-hmm. condition I was in, I was driving. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I was on a sporty, 1200 oh. sporty, all hopped up. Yeah, I bad, been, bad, bad combination. I would have been dead. Um, not nah, wondering. I, I, it's, I'm, yeah, can't understand I, I, why it, I'm still here. To be honest with you, what's so funny over there, Silent Mish? I know, She's Silent, Silent Mish. Mish what are today? you laughing about? She's silent miss today. Get up over there on the microphone, woman. Yeah, jump if on Jeff's the gonna get on. Let's talk. Talk. Talk some shit. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Do it! Jeff, you coming on? Phone line's open. Silent Miss just gave you the number, didn't she? Hit us up. I got a friend of mine, Jeff Waters. Um, saw some pictures of him. He's uh looking a little buff there. For an older guy. <laughs> I gotta break his balls. Yeah, because he's looking pretty he is, dude. When you fucking bet, pull up the picture of him that he put up on his page, man. He's, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. He's probably got like point seven percent, maybe point, maybe fucking, maybe maxing out at like three percent body fat. Yeah, yeah. What's the matter? What's the number? Three five two five five six one. Three, two, one. Yeah, we're waiting on a call from. Not today. Not today. Oh. She's off today. Oh. Oh. Good deal. Are they listening to the show? Or is it a little too much for him and his wife? Because tell him I'm talking about how buff he's looking. Turn <laughs> <laughs> in the bedroom now. He's a, Yeah, right. He's like, don't you worry. We and the wife are talking about how buff I look. <laughs> we all know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no, he's the he's the gentleman I was telling you about that um, used cannabis to cure his pretty much cure his diabetes through juicing it and other other forms of uh, ingesting. Mm-hmm. Um, in conjunction Remember with creatine, yes, in conjunction with um, with you know proper Pro- diet, protein. exercise, yes. Creatine's bad for you, bro. No, it's just water mass. Creatine actually fucks up your joints. You ever do creatine no. in your elbows I never, and your I knees? I never did creatine. You never did? Okay. Yeah, creatine uh, fucks with your joints. It's not good. I did D-balls a Anytime, long time Yeah, D-balls will destroy your liver. Yeah, I've done that a long time ago. Yeah, destroy it. Yeah. All right. Oh. In uh, Polk County, yeah. it seems like uh, Sheriff Grady. Greedy jerk? Greedy jerd. Jerd? Yeah, it's Grady Judd. Judd. Yeah. Is looking for a few good wim- uh, men and A few women. good wimps. Yeah, well, they're offering. What did it? What the ad should actually read is "job wanted." 
low income, high trigger rates, lots of satisfaction. You'll Lots have, of satisfaction. You'll have dudes jumping all over the fucking job. I'm telling you. Well, they're going to jump all over the job anyway because... $2,000 sign-on bonus? $2,000 sign-on to bonus. To be able to shoot that? people? <laughs> yeah. There's 32 deputy openings right now. 32 trigger-happy sons of bitches. You damn well know they're going to be fucking young kids jumping on this, you know, yeah. fresh out of friggin'... Cowboy boot-wearing, dip-spitting, yeah. truck-driving... Hillbilly. Yeehaws. Yeehaw! Right. That's just what you need. Well, I just wanted to bring that up. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But then you can't, you can't militarize the police department because then it changes our country, um, and it changes constitutions and and all sorts of shit like that. Because the military is not, you know, constitutionally allowed to police its own citizens. Well, and, it makes me wonder with this. What was that about? What's the sigh about? <sighs> Why he looks so mad? What's the matter? Oh boy. Drama. Oh, boy. Do I even want to know? Oh, boy. Should I take a commercial break? <laughs> <laughs> do you want it to be a commercial break? Yeah, actually, I really don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, but it makes me wonder, if they're having a $2,000 sign-on bonus for deputies right. in Polk County, yeah. is it that they can't find recruits? Um, they can't find people. Well, become, it could be. Yeah, it could be that. Come sheriffs. Yeah, it could be that. That's deputies, so not we're, sheriffs. Deputies, we yes. We only need one sheriff Deputy that's all sheriff. fucked up. Um, <clears throat> it could be because of how screwed up the county is or, or how, you know, how fucked up the, the force is or, 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 I mean, it could be a million different things. could be low pay. You know, it's just not a county that pays a lot. It's a huge county. It's one of the biggest counties in, in the state of Florida. Polk? Polk County. Oh, yeah. It's ginormous, bro. Is it bigger than Hernando? Oh, yeah. Is you it? Put Hernando clean inside of it without touching the walls. Yeah. <laughs> Pinellas County is pretty small, isn't it? Pinellas County is tiny, yeah. yeah. Hillsborough County is you know, another large one, but... Another large one. Another large one. Um, man, my fucking throat is all fucked up. You hear me, right? I'm all I, scratchy. I hear you a little rough. <laughs> a little raspy. <clears throat> <clears throat> it sucks. I hate feeling like this because I don't... I don't even want to get out of bed to do the show, but wait, the show must go on, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, John was supposed to call me yesterday. The Fokker didn't. I want to talk to him about some shipping of, of some studio supplies. Get everything out to Oklahoma. Get it out to Oklahoma. Yeah, well, I, I, I just, with what I feel we need, brother, to bring out there to... Instead of taking it on the plane? Yeah, well, I mean, to take it on the plane... And put it in cargo, I think, might cost some bucks. You think? Yes. Yeah, because I think they charge any, you know, weight-wise. And I think we got well over 50 pounds. And, and Oh, I guarantee we got yeah, over yeah. 50 pounds. So, yeah. That's not included. If you're thinking about taking the drone, well, the taking it on the plane. The drone can be put in on, on, the, on plane. the plane as bags. What's that, honey? 8 to 11. We're, we're, you know, we Between go live. those two hours, yes. That's right. Three. Eight. Five. Eight, eight to eleven. Seven. Yeah. Between those That's two, two hours. hours. Between those two hours. Eight. Eight and to 11. eleven is two hours. Between those two hours. Between those three hours. Well, yeah, between those three hours, if you're doing the myth, but I'm thinking oh eight is God. one hour and eleven is another hour. That's what happens when you hire off a of Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> you do not fall into that category, buddy. No, not at one all. fucking bit. No. Uh, I wouldn't bit. think so. No. <laughs> no. Definitely not. <laughs> oh, shit, guys. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's 10 o'clock. It almost is almost time for a break already, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Time flies when you're having fun, folks. We put a lot of commercials up today. You know why? I know I saw that. You know why? Why? Because I have to pump the shit out of them. We need the money, which is going to bring me to my next thing. Everybody, anybody, um, you, when you hear these commercials, go to them. They're, they're, all you got to do is just check them out. Uh, we get paid if you stay on the phone with these people a certain amount of time. I don't care if you give them bullshit information. It doesn't matter to me. But as long as you stay on the phone for a certain amount of time with them, we get paid. Some of them, they require you to, you know, to have the information sent to you and all of that. It's all free, no obligation. We ask you to just go ahead and everybody do that so we can uh, we can actually make some money. We need it. <laughs> Talk Shit Radio Network is trying to stay afloat here and with you guys' help and, and, you know, picking up some sponsors we got coming up and, and hopefully doing the road trip and everything we got going on, we'll be able to uh, to make this uh, what we need to make it. Is that a cop car buried in the water? 
No, oh, that's okay. a parking lot. Oh, I see. Okay. Doesn't it look like it's in yeah, order, it though? It does, because under the cross, the yellow line is all blurred yeah, out. Yeah, the so police tape. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, but yeah, so, you know, support Talk Shit Radio Network. You can also go to our website. Um, we have bumper stickers. We have hats. We've got shirts. We've got cups. We've got Talk Shit pens. Um, you know, it's uh, www. TalkShitRadioNetwork.com. You go to our web store and grab some Talk Shit gear. If you like what you hear, buy some gear. Buy some gear. Yeah, enough said, bro. That's a good saying, wasn't it? That was a good saying, actually. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was almost as good as you, you're on a, uh, you, you call yourself butter because you're on a roll. Yeah. <laughs> that like one, that, right, Mish? That one's actually pretty good, dude. That was corny. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, it's I still, think it's commercial time. Still loosening up some phlegm. Yes. Yeah, it's this is horrible, bro. I I hate feeling like this. So, talk shit radio network, everyone. Uh, bear with us. You're uh, you're listening to the Tuesday blah. <laughs> <laughs> Tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich? Working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare? Having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom150.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom150.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 150.com. Go to freedom150.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom150.com. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification require cancellation fee, auto pay, and paperless billing, and other restrictions apply. If you can't see the difference, why pay the difference? Switch to Dish for the best deal in entertainment. Only Dish brings you the best in entertainment for less than $20 a month. Cut the cable and don't get directed. Switch to Dish because at just nineteen ninety nine, Dish saves you every time you turn on the TV. It's so simple. The same channels cost less with Dish. So since you can't see the difference don't pay the difference switch to dish for the best deal in entertainment get premium movie channels free for three months starting at just 1999 dish saves you every time you turn on the tv call now to save with dish dial 1-800-518-1300 that's 1-800-518-1300 the same channels for less than 20 bucks a month dish call 1-800-518-1300 for details Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 dollars of pill pharmacy prices again get viagra for less than three dollars a pill call 1-800-441-3678 today and save up to five hundred dollars and get 40 pills for just 99 dollars healthy man is fast easy and affordable operators are waiting at 1-800-441-3678 to take your call now call 1-800-441-3678 that's 1-800-441-3678 again 1-800-441-3678 are you disabled? Has your disability insurance company wrongfully denied paying your claim for benefits? Or maybe you didn't even know you had a long-term disability insurance policy through your employer. 
The smartest thing you can do right now is call the Disability Group for help. Don't try to take on the insurance companies alone. Listen to how one phone call to the Disability Group has helped people just like you. They were on my team. They were on my side. If anybody in my family needed, you know, help, I would refer them to the Disability Group. And you pay nothing unless you win your case and receive your benefits. The Disability Group will put you in touch with a nationally recognized and experienced team who will fight for your rights. Call the Disability Group right now for a free, no-obligation consultation. Remember, the call is free and could help you secure thousands of dollars a month in benefits. Dial 800-448-8604. That's 800-448-8604. Call 800-448-8604. Call now. The United States Zoological Association and Team USZA Animal Miracle Network supports the owners of all species of pets. Our mission is to educate and help people of the world become better caretakers of the animals you have chosen to be a part of your family. Through the Miracle Network, we strive to grant last wishes for the terminally ill to meet an animal of their choice. It's through education we can save our wildlife and make a better place for them to live amongst us. Join the USZA today at USZA.us and become part of a world loving animals. Let me ask you a question. Are you getting enough? I bet you'd love more, right? Well, AdamandEve.com wants to give you more with 10 free gifts. First, you'll get a sexy surprise for her. Second, a specially selected toy for him. And third, a little something we know you'll both enjoy. Plus, you'll get six full-length adult movies on DVD. And number 10, free shipping on your entire order. So what do you have to do to get your 10 free gifts? It's not hard. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy, sexy piece of lingerie, or anything you desire. Just enter offer code GIFT13 at checkout and you'll get all 10 free gifts. Go check out adamandeve.com today. Select one item and get 10 free gifts, including free shipping. When you enter offer code GIFT13, that's G-I-F-T-13 at adamandeve.com. In these uncertain economic times, you've got to do whatever you can to save money. One of our biggest expenses can be our cars, especially when unexpected repair bills hit. Not anymore. If you own a vehicle with less than 130,000 miles, is less than 12 years old, has a warranty about to expire, or even no warranty at all, you could stop paying for car repairs. Roadside assistance, towing, and rental coverage are all included. Don't wait for the next repair. Make one free call right now to see if you qualify. If your vehicle vehicle is less than 12 years old, has less than 130,000 miles, even if it's out of warranty, paying for car repairs can become a thing of the past. Call us right now and get your car protected before your next repair bill hits. Get protection and no more repair bills. Call 877-229-7271. Again, 877-229-7271. That's 877-229-7271. 877-229-7271. Hey, welcome back, Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. All right, so um, <clears throat> good news. We're going to have a friend of mine and a friend of Silent Mishes on tomorrow, uh, Jeff Waters. I'm um, going to tell an amazing story how um, he's actually basically um, improved his lifestyle, um, his health, his health uh, all through the use of juicing and um, taking capsules of uh, cannabis oil. So... Um, yeah, that's that's good. So nine o'clock tomorrow, right, baby? We're gonna have Jeff on. Nine o'clock our time, correct? Yes. Yeah. <coughs> hey, there's Joe in the chat room. What's up, buddy? How are you? Welcome to the show this morning. We have Mr. Joe Exotic himself here. How are you? Morning, guys. Working on getting links to all the sites. Busy as shit. We'll call you later. Good deal, brother. I can't wait. And uh, we got a lot going on. Getting ready to come out there and see you at the uh, GW uh, Zoo and, um, and and hang out with you and broadcast there and, and hopefully uh, learn quite a bit about 
the park and and you and Joe, you I'm do. just excited to fucking meet you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what it is, dude. I'll be honest with you. The phone, line? the phone line. Let's see why. Who you got calling in now? No, I need you to call. You oh, want me to call somebody? call somebody? Oh no, I don't. Uh, I don't have the phone lines up. You want me to go through that again? <laughs> Jesus, he just pulled the friggin' thing. Yeah, yeah. But no, it doesn't work. No, right it doesn't, doesn't work. All anymore. right, so yeah, Joe. Uh, that's yeah. Enough said, buddy. Um, I'm looking forward to getting out there. I got a lot of lot of shit planned. A lot of things I want to talk to you about. So much. Probably there's not enough time in the day. So, who's that? Doctor Hiccup. Doctor Hiccup wants to wants to get talk. On. All right, no problem. That's fine. Joe, did you see my uh, picture we posted up on uh, on uh, JJ Morris? Oh yeah, JJ Morris. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I think Ronnie Sands actually uh, uh, shared it, so it yeah. should be on his. Um, it, it, it was it, quite interesting. It, it was it was a very funny caption. Yes, it was yes. a very funny f- picture. We have more to come. Well, we got more. <laughs> I, I, I got some shit, actually. I, um, I think Joe would really be excited about the skits that we have planned for yeah. for uh, our trip to Oklahoma. Yes. Yes, it should be pretty funny. It's going to be um, hilarious. When we get back, actually, there is when they're going to start coming out. Because when we get to the zoo... Um, no, but I, I, I think that Joe would love to be a part of it. Or some of the ones you have yes. planned that you want to do. Yes. There, yes. Yes, there. Um, and, oh, Joe, you know what? While you're here and while you're listening, one thing I got to say is uh, Timmy brought up this 3D um, thing of the park. And, uh, buddy, I, that really made me to the point where I cannot um, um, wait. So uh, I will go look. I need a photo I of your he's... station for the website. You got it, buddy. I will get all of that to you today. As a matter of fact, I will call you as soon as we get off the air. Um, and if you're not busy, we'll get all of that taken care of. Or we'll figure it out before today. I'll get that all to you. Um, now, what are you what are you dialing over there? Are you going to call her or no? Denise. Yes, I will. Here, here the phone system has to come up first. Just chill. Chill. Holy Sit shit. Sit down. Relax. People. You're sitting there. Uh, I'm talking to Joe over here about one thing. I got Denise waiting to call in. It, it's, you know, it takes a second here, people, you know. <laughs> God, snappy over Holy here. shit, man. I, Damn. <laughs> thanks, Joe. We'll talk to you in a bit. Um, I woke up in a shitty mood, and she's actually the one that's biting at people. <laughs> <laughs> she's in a shitty mood also. No, like. she actually wasn't in a shitty mood. I don't no. think it's me that made her in a shitty Jeez. mood. What'd you do, Lou? I don't know. Joe, thank you again, brother. We will uh, we will talk again. Nice uh, seeing you, Joe. Thank you for absolutely jo- appreciate you for dropping in. in. Yeah, um, as you can see, the name of the show, buddy, is Talk Shit Radio Tuesday. Blah. So that's how we feel today. I got a <laughs> blah story. All right, you got that number? Yeah, it's right here. It's, it's right there. I see a blank screen. It's right there. Okay, so here we go. Uh, first of all, I f- remember what fucking computer I dial on. <laughs> We're calling Dr. Hiccup, correct? Calling Dr. Hiccup. Calling Dr. Hiccup. Calling Dr. Hiccup. Cold blue. <laughs> cold blue. Cold blue. What the meaning... fuck's a cold blue? Cold nipples. Cold three. Oh, yesterday? <laughs> cold three. Cold three. Yeah, right. So here we go. We're getting Dr. Nipples. Hiccup on the line. Hiccup. <laughs> it's up first. What? Us calling yeah. or her calling her in or what? Her? No, we've calling. had her on before. Uh, yeah. All right, listen here, lady. He just said to call you. Yeah, Better pick up the phone. Second. Did I dial the right number? That's. Is that the number? You have reached the. Yeah. All right, so. All right, so you don't want to talk to us. You say a call, call, and you pick that? up. All right. What is that? Right, we get it. We got what it. What is that? We got I don't know what the hell. That was awesome. Joe <laughs> made it to the show this morning. Cool. Day. Yeah, it was. And well, it's one of those mornings for me where it's just like, okay, the show is going on today. I don't know. And Joe jumped in. You're like, bang. <laughs> he doesn't have anything to say. <laughs> That's fucked up. You heard that, Joe? <laughs> uh, I just, you're right, I don't have anything to say. Right. <laughs> That's besides uh, the uh, point. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right turn, Clyde. <laughs> uh, do you remember the uh, Clint Eastwood movies? Um, every Which Way But Loose, Every Which Way You Can, with Clyde the Monkey? He had an orangutan. No. In the truck with him. 
Oh, yeah, when he was driving all around yeah. with the monkey. Yes. Biker know. dudes would all pull up alongside of him. And he'd, it's and like he'd this. Say, <laughs> 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 Fucking orangutan. He'd, look, he'd go, right turn, Clyde. And the, the orangutan would just like, pow, right across the biker's jaw. And then they would just all fall like dominoes, <laughs> dude. It was great. Love that movie. Flipping them off yeah. on the way out. Yeah. Absolutely cool movie. That's just showing how old I am again. So let's go ahead and give her a try back. Do I have the right number? Okay. Uh huh. Okay. She's uh huh. Okay. Doc Hiccup, what happened? You asked me to call you and nothing happened. Let's try that again. Anything? There we go. What? Oh, uh, it's not girl. Whoa. <laughs> this is live talk shit radio. You said, what'd you do? Lose your phone and want us to help you find it? Yeah, I didn't lose it. It was buried. I got. It was buried? I cannot. I got my hands full of this two year old trying to potty train her. <laughs> <laughs> so. What's no, new? but I, I cannot find my iPhone anywhere. My house completely ate it. Your house ate your iPhone? Yeah, it's in, my, it's in my house somewhere. I don't know where it is. You know, my house eats a lot of things also. When I do a load of laundry right? and. There's I put, always that pair of socks. Yeah, it's sock. It's always fucking missing. Uh, yep. I bet you Let me if you, tell you, it's hard bet, not having a smartphone. I can't do anything. I'm sure you can't listen to the LG show. Phone. What do you? What do you, how are you listening to the show? Where are you? I'm not. Oh, so we could talk all the shit we want once we're off the phone with you. Yeah, you won't know you what the hell we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you won't know what hey, the hell's going on. We had a good time in Tallahassee. We had a great time in Tallahassee. Uh, yes, I, I knew I should have went. Tim had a really good time too. Yes, I had a yeah, great time. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Or do you think you made a difference? Um, I like to think so. You know, I Good. think I think with, with as many people who has show who showed up, I, I'm hoping that it made a huge difference. I think it made Denise. I think the disaster that happened with the cold and the tent and everything um, uh-huh. actually made it better and. Because we brought it inside and upstairs, and it was in people's yeah. face, and they knew we were in the building type thing. Not oh, they're out there freezing their asses off, ha ha ha. So <laughs> uh, yeah, and 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 check this out. Angela um, got to meet Rick Scott, got a picture with our governor, and uh, I shook his hand twice. And my lawyer, um, well, I won't repeat what he said on the air, but you know, <laughs> he was there though. Did he go? Yeah, absolutely. Michael Minardi was there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we had him the night before in the hotel room. Him, Hayden, uh, Kira on the air um, talking shit. Yeah, so we did a few broadcasts. Yeah, we had a good time, definitely. Um, It was cool, you know. I mean, we were going to set up early in the morning and do the whole gig. But like I said, because of the disaster of the weather and how cold it was. But, you know, what are you going to do? What what else is new with you? But you were able to broadcast inside, though, right? Yes. You know, one thing... Um, we, we, oh, that's right. You, you weren't there for that whole, we, we went to Hayden's house. We, we, no, fin- <laughs> no, <laughs> I heard though. We finally got to see his guy. house. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unreal. I, it was a, it was a major wow. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you walk up at first, it's just like, okay, this is a big place. But then once you walk in the front door, it's just like, okay, this oh, is a big yeah. place. Yep. <laughs> yeah, place. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. They so. good parties. So come up for the next party. Yeah, well, I plan on it. <laughs> <laughs> I already got that down on my list. Yeah, it's already written in. It's already written down. It's chiseled in. Trust me. No. Um, yeah, she's a good, um, yeah, it was cool. It, it was definitely neat. Yeah. So, good. what else is new with you, Doc? Um, nothing. I'm just heading to work myself, and I need to medicate because I'm PMSing really bad. Uh-oh. Uh oh. So I think Medicaid will help because I'm about ready to chew anybody's head off right now. That's I hear you. Me. Well, you'll have to stop by the studio then before you <laughs> head into work, and we'll help you out with that. Don't you? I would mind. like to, but I got the baby with me. I got to drop her at the sitters. Oh, see. Well, from the sitters to work, mm-hmm. you've already ran out of time. I know how that goes. Uh, yeah, from yep. the, because it's only fifteen. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah so, yep. but I will. Um, he wants to come back in the studio too, so I'll get with him and and see what a good time is. Anytime. We've changed the studio around. It's more camera friendly now. Um, we're facing the cameras, no longer uh, that awkward setup. So, yeah, you'll yeah. see. It's when you walk in, you be like, holy shit, what yeah, happened? It's, it's different. It's different. So, but yeah, Doc Hiccup, always all a right. pleasure. Well, you guys all have a good day. Thank you for calling. Thank, thank, thank Mish for uh, calling my phone. It was buried in my brain. Thank yeah. you, Mish. No problem. Anytime, Doc. We'll talk yeah, to you soon. Have a good day. All right. Bye. You too, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.
Good morning, Bob Steele. Thank you for joining us. Hey, 80 and blue skies out there today. Yeah, huh? I'm glad. Oh, nice. It really, really doesn't matter because we're going to be up at 70s today. Not clear sky, but it, uh, it, it'll be warm. Mm, that's it's, true. It's not going to be cold. Um, Although the barometric pressure is dropping. There is rain due. On its way. Yeah, yeah due soon yeah. here. If the sky is gray. You can definitely tell it. The wind. I think that's why I feel the way I do right now, bro. I'm like, why? Because of the freaking rain coming? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Even as shitty as I feel today in the name of the show today, I can't believe it's already quarter after 10. We only got 45 minutes left of the show. And then, you know, it, it, it flops over and, and we, we broadcast some music, which, again, will be uh, phasing out here soon of the music and having nothing but... Um, uh, talk shows over and over and over and over and over. Uh, not talk shit, of course, but different ones, different subjects, different things. Um, I want to thank Joe again for popping into the show. I'm looking forward to getting out there so much, dude. Um, you know what I forgot to ask him, though? That's really what's on our minds right now. That's all I can think Oklahoma. about. That's all I can think about, I'll be honest with you. And I do apologize for anybody out there that we've made any um, commitments to about getting you on. Um, please understand, it's it's three of us here doing the best we can. And Mish, really, when it comes to her being the third person, um, she basically just relays messages for me because i mean you know silent mish is is uh she's retired she don't work she's she's just chilling with us basically so it's really timmy and i that that are trying to keep everything uh rolling yeah yeah so keep i rolling, mean bear, rolling, bear with rolling. us you know and this trip to oklahoma is going to be tough um we're going to try and broadcast the best we can god i'm hoping it's not cold when we get there should be all right i, I don't think it's going to be cold the ice storms the other day. Yeah, that's true. That's going to suck, dude. Yeah, but... Try to broadcast in ice storms? <laughs> yeah, that's going to suck. <laughs> Let's see what it is over there. 7.15 a.m. to 17.15. I'm like, 7.15 a.m.? Wait a minute. But then I remember you're in California, Bob. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, He's 7.15. Yeah. yeah, That's awesome. Appreciate you tuning in again, Bob. And... Uh, yeah, one of these days we'll get you on the show here and get you to talk some shit along with us. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Holy shit. That's the temperature right now? Oh, my God. It's 34 degrees. I right ain't there? even got to whip the jacket here. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to freeze. We're going to freeze. You're going to freeze. Um, I'll be all right. Mish ain't even going to come outside. No. She's going to get off the plane and be like, are you out of your fucking mind? 34 degrees in Oklahoma City today. <laughs> What's the high? The high is 50. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Um, Yeah, the high is 50, 54. Yeah. But right now in Oklahoma wow. City. Right now is 34, 34 degrees. So the nights are going to be. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be frigid. That's awesome, though, dude. That. I'm looking forward to you it. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking about doing. And you want to go fucking horseback riding? We're going horseback riding. I don't care what you say. We're going to go. degree weather. My balls uh, will freeze. I'll take that. What I was thinking about doing, actually, because there's campgrounds on, on site over there, and it's it's lakeside, you know, so you could set up a tent. You could, you know, um, I, I don't know if you could pull in an RV, but you, you, you could set up a tent and camp out next to the lake um, on, on the preserve. I was thinking about doing something like that, but not setting up a tent, just setting up a sleeping bag, you know, sleeping outside under the stars. I mean, mm. you, don't, you don't have to be there. <laughs> mm. That, I don't know. You might not want to do that. Why? Um, you were going to a, a preserve where there's um, animals that could eat you. I'm not worried about those animals getting loose from coming in and eating me. Uh, dude, I would. You never know. You just give off a fart. And it Yo, I want to go in a cage. Oh. I want, to I want go, some of that. I want to go in a cage with a lion or a tiger. And I want the tackled. fucking thing know, tackle know, me. Know, or a I bear. Know, out of your mind. I, it's I, not I, happening. I'll tell you what. I'll put on my cowardly lion outfit and we go out on the front lawn and I'll pounce on top of you a few times if that makes you happy. But that's as close. That's not going to make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> we just threw away the last little bit of audience we had. <laughs> Jeez, I don't think that would make me happy at all. <laughs> Oh, gosh. All right. So, Bob, I need your help. I know there's big grizzlies out in California. Um, <clears throat> Timmy wants to get pounced by something. So, Bob, I'm sure you know a place where we could take him to get pounced by a wild cat or a grizzly bear. Or a something. mountain lion, mountain something, lion something, a cougar, a lynx, a we'll even make it. We'll even make it to where it's, 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 um, it's fair for the animal. We'll tie your legs and feet together. 
Tim's like, whoa, 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 how is that fair? Yeah, how is that fair for me? <laughs> well, you didn't say anything fair for you. We weren't worried about you. We were worried about the fucking animal. We were worried about the animal. So what, are we hopping along? We want you to hurt the animal. Fuck you, dude. We ain't worried about you. <laughs> you won't let me go and do it. You're exactly right. <laughs> we're going to do it. No, we're not. It's going to be a controlled situation. Yeah, controlled my ass. Yeah, I'm going to find a fucking uh, a 70-year-old animal that's ready to fucking keel over on medication. And then I'm going to say, okay, pounce him. You're going to have to lift the thing up on you because it doesn't even have enough strength to do it himself, dude. It ain't happening. I'm guaranteeing you that. <laughs> and even if Joe says it's going to happen, I'm not letting it because we can't. Bullshit. Griffin Park Zoo, L.A., California. Perfect. There you go. Done. You want to go hang out with the, the bands and the Grizzlies? Done. Shit, we can go to fucking take it to Lowry Park Zoo. We, we can go to Tampa. We can meet one of our friends Bush out Gardens, there. Bush Gardens, dude. Bush Gardens. I could toss you over a fence. You'd be in a freaking pen with a 30 foot alligator. I don't know if he's 30 feet, but he's a good 15, 20 feet. Probably all of 5,000 pounds, he looks I, like. He's I'm a not, big son of a bitch. I'm not really not into 5, 000, but I'm, I'm not really into alligators. Like yeah, that. you'd be into him. No. <laughs> I'd be in it. You'd be in him. In him. Oh, yeah. He'd eat your ass. Yeah. I don't really like yeah, alligators. Man. So. Oh, sure. I ain't no crocodile. For good reason. Yeah. Well, I never really grew up around alligators. Really. Yeah. Like well, that. neither did I till I came down here, and then I had to grow up around them. I, I worked with a couple of alligators up in Long Island because there was a zoo over there. So, oh, yeah? Yeah. I, I Long mean, Island Game Farm? <laughs> yeah, the Long Island Game Do Farm. they have alligators there? Yeah, they got they American do. alligators. They I, have five I've of them. I've been there since I was a child. They got about five of them. Which is they got a cougar. 40 years plus. Um... You got a couple of wild 30 things plus years. Holy shit, dude. That sounds so bad. It's funny because the Catskill game farm that closed down several years ago. And, and I most, think the only time I was there when I went was, you know, I, six, five. Never at the Catskill game farm. No? Ever. But a lot of the animals from the Catskill game farm came down to the Long right. Island farm. Yep. And uh, I guess they took residence there. No shit. Um, a couple camels. And <coughs> they got camels. They got camels. They Boy. have the camels. It's hump day. It's hump day. <laughs> Is it hump day? No, tomorrow. No, hump tomorrow day. is. Tomorrow's hump day. That's I'm right. reading an article from the New York Post. It uh -huh. says New York City women, a uh, woman freezes to death hiking in New Hampshire. Now she has to understand that when she goes hiking, especially in New Hampshire in the mountains, yeah, um, it's going to be fucking cold up there. Very cold. And colder than it is in New York City. It, a lot colder than New York City. Um, she was hiking alone in a sub-zero in sub-zero temperatures, which and means a, below zero. Correct? Below zero. Sub sub-zero. Yeah. Temperatures and a hundred mile an hour winds in the mountains of New Hampshire. I'm sorry, if it's that fucking cold, I wouldn't want to be outside anyway. First of all, I I, I tell you, I wouldn't be outside in those temperatures right now. You just showed us 34 degrees in Oklahoma. Yeah, but I'd be that, reluctant to go out in that. No, uh, I, I take that. That's fine with me. You, I'm, you've I'm only not, been down here a few months. Not really. Me, I've been down that. here for how many years? 19 years. 89. 1989. I moved here. Oh shit! So. Longer than that. 23 buddy. years? Yeah, so I would freeze my fucking... I could only stay out that in a few minutes. <laughs> you could stay out in 34 degree weather. For a few minutes. For a few minutes. How about sub going zero? to sub-zero temperatures? You're not taking a step outside. I, I couldn't. I could. I could With the wind chill factor of 100 yeah, miles per hour, you no, know? I, I could I, go I outside. What, I could go... Yep, to, yep, but. yep, it's cold. Okay, back in. And by then, I'd already have such a chill. I'm just not used to it anymore, brother. Just not used to it anymore. She looks, uh, I mean, I don't know if this is the picture of her going hiking in the mountains. That uh, particular New incident, Hampshire, right, yeah. But she looks like she's, she looks like knows she's, what she's doing. She, yeah, it looks like she knows what she's doing. She's got a nice big pack on her. She's got a snow shovel on her over right, here. Got a big, picture. heavy snow coat. Um, I posted this on our website, but I want to read a little bit more into it. Go it for says it. Uh, she was found dead on Monday, apparently uh, died from exposure um, a day after she went missing in the White Mountains in New Hampshire. Um, she was born in Siberia uh, and was found and was found between Mount Madison and Mount Adams um, in the summits called the Presidential Range. Um, the adventurous woman worked in a credit trading uh, in credit trading at a bank firm BNP in Midtown. Her husband was the vice president of J.P. Morgan. Is the vice president of J.P. Morgan Chase? Really? Yeah. Um, dropped her off Sunday at the base of the mountains where she planned to hike uh, up Mount Washington, the highest peak from the northeast. Mm -hmm. um, by Sunday afternoon, um, she activated an emergency beacon that sent her coordinates to rescuers, but the search crews had trouble finding her. 
Um, it says, unfortunately, a lot of coordinates that we received over the night were all over the place within a mile circumference. So that, that's what uh, uh, Jim Gross, Jim Goss from the State Fish and Wildlife and Game Department. You know what said. that means, don't you? Um, they couldn't fucking find her. No, the, the, the beacon wasn't right. The beacon was in different locations. Yeah. <laughs> Overnight, the temperatures plummeted to Dude, 30. She got eaten. The beacon was eaten. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that was eaten. They took, a bear ate the beacon. He's walking around with it in his gut, <laughs> with parts of her inside. With parts of her, sure. They'll find it once he takes a shit. All right. Well, let's see what what it says. If it, if it says that, <laughs> <laughs> it says uh, in the middle of the night, temperatures plummeted to thirty degrees below zero. Hold on, I got to get the suspense accent loaded. Oh Jesus. Because we, we can't have the... All right, let, the, let me the, reiterate, the reiterate that. Overnight, temperatures plummeted to 30 degrees below zero and winds gusting at more than 100 miles per hour. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> um, <Scared> rescue... <laughs> what? Scared me. I was trying to hit the button. Yeah, I know. And, and you weren't looking at me, <laughs> so I had to do that. Um... Rescue team comprising of fish and game officers, mountain rescue service members, um, responders. They uh, rescue responders braved the 108 mile an hour winds. Makes the story more compelling. To reach the area on Monday. Oh, I should have hit it now. <laughs> I know. I wasn't done with the friggin' sentence yet. <laughs> Um, photographs of the ambitious climber posted on social media, braving her elements in the rugged terrain around the world, including frigid t tundras. So she's she's no, you know, this ain't her first this rodeo. This is not her first rodeo. She knows, she she hasn't knows what she's doing. She's seen it done doing. on the radio once, um, right? I, this, this goes to show you that mistakes could happen. Anything this, could this, happen. I mean, I wouldn't, I used to go out hiking by myself, but I wouldn't go out hiking in in temperatures and climates like that. Right. Yeah, well, I'd freeze my ass off just walking from the tent to take a piss, so. Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's a, a day trip. Um, that's what I believe that it was. It oh, was, yeah? It was a day trip because she was not supposed for to. for her. Not for <laughs> her, man. It's a life trip right yeah, there. Yeah. I'm sorry to say that this lady, she had passed away. You got, they did find it. Her they did find it, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a shame. That definitely sucks. So now you know this whole uh, immigration thing we got going on, uh, the immigration action with Obama and all that, right? Yes, I actually was reading a story about this. But right, so we, we have a judge in Texas who has put a halt to it, and I do have some audio. It's about a minute, 25 seconds. So let's, uh, let's see what's up with this. We awake this morning to a big court decision in Texas. The president, remember, late last year used his executive power to uh, change immigration laws, or to at least change the And I'm happy to hear this. He can't change the law. You a federal judge in happy? Texas, a district court judge in Texas said, no, Mr. President, you can't do that. You can't stop deporting people. You can't decide who gets to stay. Uh, this is something Republicans wanted. 26 states, I believe, led by the Republican governor of Texas sued here. The White House will appeal now. I'll to get this up on Facebook, court too. In New Orleans, the Court of Appeals. Here's what they said this morning. The Department of Justice, legal scholars, immigration experts, and the district court in Washington, D.C. have determined that the president's action are well within his legal authority. And here's where they say, we think you're wrong, sir. The district court's decision wrongly prevents these lawful common sense policies from taking effect, and the Department of Justice has indicated it will appeal that decision. So a victory this morning for conservatives. The question is, will a higher court uphold it? What do you think? I think it's great that they're appealing this situation. Mm -hmm. You know, that they're, they're, uh, they're, they're, um, they're opposed to this. Everybody should be opposed to this. I, I don't believe that there should be leniency or, or amnesty given to illegal immigrants who have been in our country for X amount of years. Doesn't matter. I, it doesn't matter how many uh, they would give. Does that mean if X amount of years goes by after committing a crime that you you get amnesty? No. No, not at so all. You committed a crime. He came over and leave uh, here. I'm a felon. I'll always be a fucking felon. Right, exactly. I, I, it's it's sad to say, but it's true. I, you can't. You can't. We can make about millions it. and millions of dollars with this radio station. Become rich and famous. We will always be felons. Yeah. Correct. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I don't like that because I would love to get it expunged. But in yeah, well, you thing, want your York, rights back to be able to get your gun, exactly. your voting rights, your this and that. See, I yeah, really I don't mean, give a fuck about ro voting rights. I don't know why. I, but really, I'd you rather, should, bro. I'd rather have my firearms. I'd rather have my firearms. See how different that sounds. 
I know. When I was sitting, when I was sitting back, I put it down because it was I, a little I know. too high. I know. Now I'm right up on it. You don't need to be right up on it. Oh Jesus! I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> you already did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you already did. Whoops. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna vomit. I'm right? trying to hit that button, bro. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this, uh, Barack Obama action that he was trying to, uh, yeah, to take on immigration. Sick. Yeah, it See, does. There it is. It, 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 and, and how many people are going to be put out of work because of l the legal status, the immigration, you know, the, the, Think the illegal the immigrants. That's what that I'm will saying. open up for American citizens because of the illegal aliens that have now been removed from this country. Oh yeah! Oh, I was I was like, wait, what do you mean? Yeah, have removed, have been removed. Once That's what they've been trying to do forever. Of, yes, once you remove a lot of these aliens, these illegal aliens, and actually, I mean, my personal opinion, just close the fucking borders and stop letting anybody in. They, the borders are fucking closed. They can't do any more that they're doing right now. It, mm -hmm. it, it is a long border, and there's a lot of different ways that these immigrants get across, get across, get mm -hmm. get over the Rio Grande, get you know, tunnel in. Um, there's a lot of different ways, uh, especially the black market with people, uh, transporting humans from Mexico over here. Uh, what? Whoa. Are you all right? Um, geez, what was it? Oh, oh, about the borders. Um, the borders will always be regulated. The thing is, is it, it, it's, it's too much landmass uh for for it to be regulated as it should um it, you have to understand that it's across texas arizona new mexico and parts of of california where uh, ins and border patrol has to be regulating it at all times um what i see is them doing all they can to keep the immigrants out um now the whole entire thing is with the immigrants who do get um arrested here you know after committing a crime they go back to their country yeah they go through the due process in the united states then they get deported back to their country and then they what, start the process over what do you yeah, what do you think they're doing they're actually restarting the process to come Oops. back here what did what did benjamin franklin say about the light bulb how many times he figured out how not to make a light bulb. Oh, yeah. Right. So that but one there's time only they get one into the thing. country, yeah. that they'll be like, oh, see, all of that time I was figuring out ways how not to get into the country. But <laughs> they're going to get into the country like a doctor either practicing. way. <laughs> like a what? It's like a doctor practicing. Yeah, what's up? Bye, Michelle. Bye, Michelle. Um, but, yeah, they just pay the black market, the cartel over there. Uh, yeah. I hear it's about six thousand dollars of U.S. American to get into our country mm -hmm. from Mexico. Yeah. Um, that's a pretty pay, uh, pretty price to pay. Yeah, it's a pretty big price to pay, especially when they really don't have it. And you know what I mean? Where the hell are they getting it from? Well, see, that's what happens when they get over here. They have to work, right. pay it off to. Oh, to that's, send right. Money that's, back. Right. that's exactly right. That's right. That's exactly what it is. How they pay it off, but don't they have to give like half of it up or something like that in the beginning? I I think they got to put a down payment. <clears throat> yeah, for their so. ticket across. A down payment. A down payment. That's, that's what exactly they're calling what it. it is. Yeah. Now, I wonder what happens, God, uh, I'm just thinking, what happens if you disappear and not pay? You know, they're going to kill your whole entire family? The cartel would probably come and fuck up your family, I would imagine. Slaughter you know? the whole friggin' lifeline, sure. bloodline? We'd have to find somebody and, uh, you know, a decent uh, speak American-speaking um, immigrant mm -hmm. to see, you know, if, if, or somebody who's actually done it and successfully. Because I honestly... You damn well know no one's going to come on the friggin' radio with that. Well, we can do it an anonymously and not have a date and, you know, do it pre-recorded. No, yeah. I, yeah you know what I'm saying? Do a pre-recorded interview at a specific location and so on and so forth. Because um, we have the right to non-revealing or not reveal our sources for any stories. Because I'm... I'm uh, press so yeah you're but, certified yes um registered registered um, certified, i am certifiable but <laughs> <laughs> we're all are certifiable yeah, i am a registered journalist so you know i can keep my sources um anonymous uh, i'm anonymous i'm anonymous i'm anonymous i'm anonymous oh wow 14k in reward offered for information on missing brandon woman this just then i remember that yeah wow 
This is what we were just talking about, yeah, people yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. in Tampa. Yeah. Uh, announced Tuesday that there's a $10,000 reward and a $4,000 reward for information um, on the whereabouts of April Foster. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I yeah. wish I knew where she was. Yeah, I could use $14,000 right now. Fuck. <laughs> Be a nice trip to Oklahoma, buddy. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking buy a tiger and bring it back. <laughs> nah, I don't nah, know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not there yet. I mean, I'm telling you, bro. I'm going to go out west. I'm going to open up a 40-acre preserve out there. Northern uh, northern Nevada. Oh, in the middle of the desert? Yep. Yep. What Definitely. Kind of What's the matter with your yeah. ear? Like pressure pointed. Yeah. You check out these headphones, brother. Wait, I'm gonna get you a pair of these. These are so comfortable. They're though. so soft. Oh god, there's so much ear room inside of them, dude. I don't oh, give a that. shit what they look like. I mean, they look they like studio. Look, they microphones. don't look bad at all. No, no, no. What are you talking about? Okay, what they look like? They look fine. Yeah, they look um, cool as shit. They cool as shit. Cool I shit. am done, guys. That's all I got to talk about today. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up some music for the next 25 minutes. Unless Tim, you got anything else you want to say? Mm-hmm. No, we're gonna... no, I can understand what you're feeling. Yeah, I feel like shit, bro. Ah! Just, yeah, still, you know, it's gonna take me till the end of this week and probably next week to get back into the game again. See, the whole entire thing is is you got to get better in, before we get to Oklahoma, so we can have oh, a nice I'll trip be fine. To Once, by the time I get there, I'm on medication. I'm taking my pills mm-hmm. every day. Unfortunately, I'm taking fucking Prednisone. Own damn mm-hmm. steroids so it's got me hopped up which i gotta take my next round here mm-hmm. once we're done here which is gonna give me the energy to get my pond done mm-hmm. <laughs> That's well, the only we're gonna get to that today yeah well, I, I think I, I might actually um want to get it done start digging it yeah and start digging it. it's dug already we just well gotta you gotta it. dig a little bit more so you get the tub in no i just gotta put the fucking the thing in take dirt from one end slip it to another and oh <laughs> filling yeah dude the hole's there <laughs> I know the hole is there, but you probably got to dig a little bit deeper. You can't dig any deeper in that hole. Why? Because you're going to hit a clay pocket that, that turns into rock. Oh. I mean, solid, solid, dense clay. It took so you me, can't get any deeper than that. It took me 20 minutes to go about three inches <laughs> Jesus of that clay. Yeah, well, it was horrible. That's why the fucking thing popped out of the ground, the pond. Well, because There's of the no, water, right? It, it just won't drain away because of that clay pocket. It won't drain. So no matter how much water, it. yeah, it just popped it right out of the ground, man. It was I was, we were amazed I'm sitting here one day, we go out, we take a break and looking at the pond and I'm watching it. I'm just watching it bubbling and it's, it's moving and it's going up and up and you can see it just raising. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'll be damned, dude. Watch this. And all of a sudden the water level that was in the pond mm-hmm. is now le- you know, level with the ground. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'll be fucking damned. And at the time there was still a leak in it. So it was leaking into the ground. Oh yeah. Underneath you know, the pond. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But. It's going to be all different. I'll take pictures of it and post them as we go. So, uh, Talk Shit Radio Network, everyone. I appreciate everyone tuning in. It is Tuesday, blah. Um, tomorrow we'll have, hopefully, a uh, happy hump day. Hump day! Yeah, hopefully it'll be happy hump day tomorrow, and we, we'll be all energetic and everything, and, and uh, you know, we'll rock and roll a little bit. So, um, what I'm going to do is put on a little bit of music yeah. until the block party starts yeah a little bit of music until the block party starts correct correct what timmy just said if i can find it dude i'm even having trouble finding shit lost yeah you're on page you're on page one you're about to go back i know right (laughs) back to page zero there is no page zero (laughs) it's like lou you're going the wrong way lou you're right going the wrong way I'm not going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way, Lou. You're at fucking page one. You can't go backwards. I am all right. You're I, not all right. <laughs> I am all right. That's, you're not all right, Spider. You <laughs> fucking, do a little step. Do, do, give us a little step there, oh, Spider. Give us a little step. <clears throat> yeah, right. Um, Bob, I appreciate you tuning in. Um, Doc Hiccup, Joe, really appreciate you jumping in. Absolutely, brother. Always a pleasure to um, have Joe come into the chat room, except the only thing that that does right. is make the, make the anticipation of going to the show or mm-hmm. going out to his place. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It yes. just builds the anticipation of No, that's like exactly what waiting I'm... for Heinz ketchup to come out of the oh, bottle. Oh, wait, we're like... bringing Santa Claus to come put presents oh, under the yeah, tray. Enough said, dude. Enough said. It's like sitting there and just staring. Yeah, pretty much. It's like staring at your Christmas presents for three weeks before yeah. fucking Christmas. Sneaking uh, into mommy and, and daddy's I just room. Open one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> peeking. 
It's like, geez. I know exactly what I'm getting. I've checked I the flight time. It. I don't know how many times. Like, okay. Went over the itinerary. I could probably. We're we'll leaving at like, what, 6 o'clock in the morning? Here. we got to be five at the airport the at 5. I'd say 5 o'clock in the morning. Yes, Bob. We will be on tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning we'll be happy. Be hump day. Yes, tomorrow we will be on tomorrow. That's for sure, guys. Um, we're still getting over a, a virus that I'm, we've had uh, the last yeah, couple of days. Yeah, now. Timmy got sick when we were up in um, in uh, Tallahassee. Tallahassee. It was just yeah, because of the cold. Brought it back down and, and gave well, it to everybody else. Because I have bronchitis and all of this bullshit, <laughs> I get chest colds. They're they're detrimental to me, so it's kicking my ass to where you were able to just fight on through it. A little bit of antibiotics and you were done. I don't know what it was. I just yeah. got a better immune system. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fucker. Fucker. <laughs> yeah, Bob, we will be on tomorrow. We will be live. It will be Happy Hump Day. We will have Chris Barr, which is a very, very um, extreme story of Chris survival. Barr, no, Jeff Waters. I mean, Jeff Waters. I do apologize. I was just looking at Chris's Facebook page. Um, we will have Jeff Waters on, who is a friend of Michelle and myself. Um, it's a very, uh, you saw that? Did you see that in the chat? What? How something went up and then disappeared real quick? No, I didn't, but I, I saw uh, yeah. Bob having um, a cold or, or a bronchitis. Yeah, a bronchial infection, a bronchial probably. Infection, yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, fighting the shit out of it with some pretty harsh antibiotics right now, so hopefully, uh, you know, within the next couple of days. Right now, it's all sinus. They're all drying up, though. They're drying up. At least you're not leaking. <clears throat> yeah, that was it yesterday. I was yeah. fucking Draining. a faucet. Yeah, I stuck two fucking Same. tissues in my nose last night. Yeah? It was just so bad. Yeah, you had to clog it up somehow. Yeah. Somewhere. yeah. I, I mean, if, yeah, it was pathetic. But it was pathetic. tomorrow will be Happy Hump Day. Appreciate everybody joining the uh, the chat room, listening to our broadcast. For those of you that weren't in the chat, and I don't get a chance to thank you. Thank you, September. Um, always a pleasure having you in, Doc Hiccup, Yvonne. Appreciate you coming in um, and talking on the chat room there, uh, Johnny. Uh, I, I, if you're listening, we appreciate you out there listening, and you better fucking call me today. You. You New Yorker. You damn New Yorker. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't, I couldn't get out. Yeah, you saved me. You saved me. <laughs> <laughs> Talk shit radio network. Anyone, uh, everyone, uh, thank you, Timmy. Thank to you me. for joining us. Yeah. Really, yeah. All right, guys. We'll uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday. Uh, Talk shit Tuesday. Blah. So we're out. See. You.
Like the sun.